Oh, we've got a lovely show today for you. Good morning. It's going to be a good day. Are you ready? We are ready and raring to go. We've got so much going on today. It's very, very busy in our green room because I have not seen Sally Ann Harrison for absolutely ages. I definitely haven't done a show with her in the studio. So that's been what? Six months, at least, at least. Uh, I don't actually know whether I've seen her this year. It's been ages. And oh my word, I've just said to her, this is my favorite project you've ever done, Sally Ann. It's amazing. The quilt is gorgeous. The most popular cushion I think that we've ever done is back as well, the pleated cushion. That's coming up later. And have you spotted it already? We've all been so excited to see Stuart Hillard's Christmas collection. It's the first time we've ever had Stuart Hillard's Christmas collection um, here at Sewing Street. I am so excited. Please, 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 one word of wisdom today, use pre-order. I'm actually already a bit nervous about the amount of people that are gonna miss out on so many things today. So please, 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 I don't wanna see messages going, I didn't get it sold out, what's happened, it's all gone. Please go to website beforehand. Right, should we get everybody opening their baskets nice and early? Because it's gonna be a good day today. It's gonna to be a really good day. It's a hot one as well, so stay in with us. Um, enjoy the sun looking out the window, but stay with us. And if you are venturing out to the garden, want to put lots of sun cream on, but stay with us on the app because there's loads going on today. Starting with an early bird, which Brian literally, as the intro was running, ran into the studio. And I thought, right, I was going to start taking it personally that our early birds were always late when I was here. So they're here, they're here, they're here. Now we've got for you a really, really useful zip duo. So, um, these were actually sourced by our Wendy Orlando, I think. Um, they're the Crafty Co. So you've got your duo zip bundle, and when they're really lovely length zips as well, I'll measure them in just a second, but they're gonna be ideal for bag making, which we're gonna be doing this first hour. And they're also ideal for cushions, absolutely gorgeous, that they're neutral color, they're gonna go with everything. And you're getting two. In fact, let me just quickly measure these before we drop the price, because this is gonna be a really, really good way of starting your order nice and early today we've got two 18 inch um, well do I measure from the the um I think I measure from the teeth teeth to teeth 18 inches 18 it's so ideal for cushions absolutely ideal okay Ben's in the hot seat today. He's been singing. He's so excited. Charlie even said he's really excited to see me back. So we're going to go to uh, to town on the prizes for you. Two ninety nine for both. Two ninety nine. <laughs> Do you want to know what just Ben just said in my ear? Today is all about Bargain Town. The population is us. At Bargain Town, population is us. Come and say hello on Facebook. I'm live on Facebook as well. If you want to come and say hello. £2.99. It's always worth stocking up on zips. Do you know why? Because whenever we have a show, when we need a zip, we always run out. We never have them in stock. So it's ideal to stock up whilst you've got them here. Also, why not grab yourself um, a, a Soline glue pen or quilters tape? That's always handy to be able to, to hold them into place as you're sit stitching them in. <laughs> I'm glad the Commonwealth Games is finished now. Ben just said I look like a wrestler that I've taped my hands up with zips. Um, I'm, I, honestly, I got so into the Commonwealth Games. I was watching all the diving, the road race was in Warwick where I live. We had, what was your favorite thing? What was your favorite sport though? The rhythmic gymnastics. Did you see our Joe Wilcox? Oh my gosh, it was hilarious. So there was, um, there was, uh, um, I can't remember which, uh, what country she was, she was, but they were doing the hoops on the finals. They were doing the hoops in the dash, in the um, rhythmic gymnastics. And she dropped the hoop. She had to go and get the spare hoop. It was all the most intense performance. And then just as they finished, the director, who obviously wasn't following the narrative, cut to Joe Wilcox, our Joe, go like this at the camera for a good lengthy seven, eight seconds. Like that. Couldn't believe it. 
couldn't believe it. Uh, two zips for £2.99. What an early bird special. Remember, everybody who's checking out with us this morning, you're only paying one post in packaging all day long. And today is the day to be opening your order. Only £3.95, no matter how much of Stuart Hillard's fabric you buy, no matter how many quilt kits you buy, no matter how much gorgeous Liberty fabric you get. Honestly, it's going to be such a good day. Oh yeah, loads of bags, uh, kits, instructions, goodies for you today as well in this first hour. Shall we have a look at today's menu? Today, we've got bags galore. Go on to pre-order, I'll show you how to do it in a minute because we've got the launch of Stuart Hillard's Christmas fabric. Oh my word, it is beautiful. Have you seen dressed um, all beautifully, our shelves are dressed beautifully today with lots of Christmas projects all featuring Stuart Hillard's brand new Christmas fabrics. Coming up at nine o'clock, it's all on pre-order if you want to shop ahead. 10 o'clock, wow, 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 wow. This Liberty dress quilt is just spectacular. I saw this picture on um, social media and I instantly loved it. I saw it this morning, I love it even more. It's amazing, absolutely amazing, 10 o'clock. 11 o'clock, we've got a beautiful colour. Oh my gosh, the confetti style quilt from Moda is absolutely stunning. It's demonstrated by Stuart Hillard. He's done a huge demo as well for us. So um, definitely stay tuned for that, that's 11 o'clock. And 12 o'clock, Sally Ann Harrison's going to be back with the Liberty Needle Case and the Pleated Cushion, both back in stock after popular demand. Um, come say hello to us, jump on pre-order. The website, we can show you in just a second how you can get onto pre-order because there's a lot going on. Here's the website. If you click on Watch Live, there's how you get to contact Stuart, um, me and Sally Ann Harrison. Woof! Oh, is it because of the dog of the month? Oh, it's because we're barking mad. With these crazy prices, there's the early bird, £2.99 there, already um, becoming limited now, actually. Here's all of our bags. Right, bags galore. I would suggest jumping on pre-order because we're not gonna have a chance to show it all. We've got over 50 items. Honestly, um, thank you for filling our boots with all of these bag making goodies, Ben. There is loads and loads and loads and loads and loads in that hour, as you can see. You've got, um, oh look, lots of Velcro. Oh, grab your Velcro as well for your Liberty, um, Liberty quilt. I'll show you in a second. We've also got, oh look, Zip's already selling out. Instructions, kits, living in loveliness, Crafty Co, Susie Duncan, Amber Makes. There are loads of our favourites in there. Stuart Hillard's Bags of Life book, I'll talk to you about that in a second. And then, here is the first look at Stuart's Christmas collection. There's the bundle, there's a panel. It's all going to be brilliant. Um, you've got beautiful accessories as well to go with. Then we go on to Sally Ann Harrison's. There's the kit. Hang on, how much is the kit? That's crazy. Oh, definitely have a look because that's just scanning away through. Uh, if you want the uh, Liberty Quilt kit, there it is. There it is. I can't believe that. Under 50 pounds, unbelievable unbelievable that's today that is today come on in and say hello to us at studio at sewingstreet.com studio at sewingstreet.com um becky would you do me a favor and turn on the um previous group please and then we've also um got facebook live up today so if you want to come and say hello please please do right should we start with some amber makes instructions because we absolutely love these and we always sort of have to um race through these we've got Yes, come on over with me and we can show you on the overhead. Uh, we have got, hello, look at all this gorgeousness, ready for Christmas, peg bag. Um, I know this is really sad, I'm showing my age, but my word, I'm loving this weather for doing my washing, getting my pegs on the line. Oh, it's brilliant, isn't it? One thing I'm lacking is a good peg bag. Make yourself one. Make yourself one. £9.99. And what I love about this as well is that you can feature one of your favourite prints, one of your lovely um, fabrics. I'm going to put your face there, Ben. Use a transfer sheet and put your face on there. 
Um, you've got all of your instructions, everything that you need. Um, you've also then got all of your instructions. You could do it with strips of fabric, piece them all together, and then you could focus in on one of your favorite fabrics, whether it be one of our panels that we've had, um, or, or maybe a Tula pink. I mean, that would look amazing, wouldn't it? Just £9.99 for your Amber Makes peg bag instructions. Always handy, you've got your templates there as well. Just thought I'd let you know, as it is absolutely washing weather, isn't it? Oh, your washing gets dry so quickly. <laughs> Can you tell it's the first year that I've ever had my own washing line? I had one for Mother's Day this year. How exciting is that? <laughs> but your bird of the month peg bag instructions from Amber Makes always very very popular. Do you know when this was demonstrated, Ben? We'll whiz through these because we've got a lot of different Amber Makes instructions which we can show you, um, and I'll tell you the dates and then you can watch back the demonstrations because I know that these were all sort of pieced together during the show with a demonstration from. Becky, um, you've got how to assemble the peg bag, how to add the hanger in there as well. That's all that you need to add is a hanger. Perfect. Just nine ninety nine. We also have. Do you want to whiz through these? Should we do them all? Let's do the lunch bag. As maybe we're all going out for picnics, enjoying some park picnics at the minute. Lovely in Christmas fabrics as well, maybe. This will be really nice in your Stuart Hillard Christmas bag. Um, be nice. Oh yeah, loads of people already buying on pre-order. It's going to be a busy, busy day. It's going to be a busy day, just so you know. Uh, good morning, Mary. Oh, all I can say is, OMG, what a show. I told you, it's going to be amazing. Uh, wait till you see what's peeking onto the screen in a moment. Uh, morning, Vicky. It's our 36th wedding anniversary. Oh, congratulations. Please treat yourself. That is amazing. That is amazing. I managed two. Two years. I'll come back to you in 34 years and see, see how we are. But well done. Well done. Um, just £9.99 for your lunch bag. Um, right, we also have cosmetics bags. I'm thinking now, if you're making for craft festivals, these are perfect instruction sets to be able to have in your little library of patterns to be able to create some really, really lovely um, makes for your craft festival. And because you're getting a pattern that is solely dedica designated to a cosmetics bag, they're really, really thorough. You've got your template there as well. It's to size. Don't need to worry about upscaling. They're lovely quality, glossy instructions. Um, so you're going to be able to reuse these. And as I said, that, that makes it perfect then for your... Um, for, for, for your library of patterns, just to be able to be able to churn out loads of cosmetic bags for Christmas, for whether it be craft festivals, you're able to make to sell using the Amber Makes, but they're good size toiletry or cosmetics bags. <laughs> we also have, I'm just whizzing through all of your Amber Makes bird of the month. Um, you don't need to have the panels to be able to do these though. I've got the market tote. Um, you don't need to use the, the bird of the month because it does actually give you your section here of all the fabrics that you need. So you need um, a, a ten and a half inch square, which is going to be that centre um, print, for example, the bird that's here. And then you need two and a half inch strips for your, um, your complementing fabrics as well. So you don't necessarily need that. That's ten and a half inch square in the centre. Um, we do. Oh, no, it's not a panel. It's instructions on its own, didn't you say? Oh, do you just want the panel? You've got the pattern. We can't do the All of the panels have gone into the kits. If you want to get the kit, you get your instructions, you've got your um, panel. And what else do you have in the kit? I feel like you get something else as well. Oh gosh, it's amazing. Honestly, it's absolutely amazing. Um, all the fabrics that you need are all there. Um, we've got the messenger bag. There's already people buying on pre-order, by the way. I'm so excited. It's going to be a good show today. 
messenger bag. These were always some of the most popular MMAs. This is the last one, by the way. We just wanted to whiz through some of the ones that we have. Um, and then we've got some lovely kits as well. There's so much in this hour. So much in this hour. Um, I've got Studio 77 unicorn bag kits coming up. Oh, I'm so excited that they're here. Um, did you see the show last week with Emma? Oh my gosh, it was amazing. It was amazing. So your messenger bag, just £9.99. Okay. Yes, please. Now we have two different ones. Can you do the ones with the cork, please, Ben? if that helps. So there's a cork and there's a PU kit. The reason that I want to do the cork first is because this was the most similar to the one that Emma actually demonstrated and she actually asked us to get this cork in especially. So this is amazing value for money because in here you have got, um, I don't know whether it, there's a picture, it should be on the Google Drive, I know I'm giving you a million and one things to do here Ben, when you're already producing and doing lots of other things, he's like shut up, stop giving me more work to do. Um, but I need to show you how amazing this bag is because look, it's got unicorn horns or horn and ears, it's got the most gorgeous hair and the hair goes all the way down the back. Emma Brassfield, Studio 77, you've got your unicorn zip, oh, let me open it out, oh gosh, I wore it the whole time, I wore it the whole show, I loved it, absolutely loved it, and uh, there's a whole YouTube tutorial as well, so not only do you get all of your templates in here, you also get full instructions, and you get, um, you get all of your instructions, all of your templates, and you also have the um, the video tutorial as well. But look, here it is in PU, and the same um, glitter key, uh, PUs as well on the back. They look gorgeous. But she's also sourced all of this unicorn hardware. So it's all iridescent. You've got swivel clips, you've got an adjustable strap, you've got D-rings, you've got magnetic snaps, you've got your zipper in there, all included as well. Then, you are going to be able to make, with this kit, two, if not three, unicorn bags. Obviously, you've only got hardware for one, so you need to add more hardware. But with the fabrics that's included, you'll definitely be able to make multiple unicorn bags. This is what it looks like. It's amazing. So the hair colours that we've used are these three beautiful quality PUs. Look at the colours of those. They're not ones that leave glitter all over you either. They're beautiful quality. You've also got your, your pink lining, and then look at how much cork you get. Oh, look at that! It's amazing, and it's really lovely and soft and malleable, so it's great to sew with. It holds its shape. You probably, if you want to use an interfacing, you absolutely can, but it still holds its shape really, really well with the cork. Um, I know that Emma does go through all of your different... <laughs> All of your your different requirements, if you're, if you're wanting to use interfacing, she talks about those in the pattern. There is so much in that kit. Cork lining, three glitter PUs, all of your hardware. When was this on? What, what day was it? Um, 29th of July, if you want to watch the show back, and Emma goes through everything. She talks about the hair, the piecing of the hair, how to do the transfer of the eyes. Um, you've got your bag strap there as well, which is adjustable. You've got all of your, um, your templates, which are to size. There is no little girl that wouldn't love this bag, but even, um, even I know, you know, larger children like me. <laughs> I love this bag so much, it's amazing. So that's one of my faves. We do also have it in a PU option, um, which still includes everything that you've just seen here, all your hardware, your templates, your patterns, the same colours for the unicorn hair, which is that lovely blue, pink and silver. You've then also got your lining fabric, and this time you've got your gold PU, which is probably most similar to the one that I showed to you in the pattern which is the one on the back there, the gold PU. It looks lovely, doesn't it? And this is super, super soft, um, great to sew with. I know that Emma recommended potentially using like your walking foot or Teflon foot. If you've never worked with PU before, majority of your stitching is gonna be on the reverse anyway, which is like a knitted 
fabric. It really, really behaves itself. It does behave itself, so you don't need to worry. Me and Maisie should have matching ones. Oh, yeah, great idea. It'd be so cute, wouldn't it, matchy, matchy? But look at how much P you get. You're definitely going to be able to get two, if not three bags out of that, aren't you? Um, that is a lot of PU for 44.99, and especially as we've got all the hardware provided for you in there you've got all the beautiful iridescent hardware and emma really has sourced such beautiful beautiful hardware that's one what takes the most time and could cost a lot of money if you're purchasing from individual outlets trying to get the the, the right size um um <laughs> the right size what are they called hardware bits and bobs That'd be perfect. Sorry, Ben's guessing the words. He's too new to this to be guessing the words that I'm trying to say. He's, he's um, learning, though. He's learning all the terms. He's doing very well, doing very, very well. £44.99, and that was on the same date as well. If you want to watch the show back, it was on the 29th of July with the designer Emma Brassfield, who, by the way, is amazing is amazing um shall we do we can't do a bag out without doing a bit of lisa lamb can we lisa lamb has put together some amazing kits for us um we've got two bags we've got yep yeah. i love that it all comes you know all presented to you all ready to go so once you start cutting all your bits and bobs and your fabrics you can keep it in your slidey wallet um perfect and she's also included look the flap and that is a gorgeous, is it leather? That is lovely. Um, already attached the the, uh, the hardware to it. Pre-punched holes on there as well. You've also got, look at all of these beautiful zippers. Look, they've got little hearts on. Lisa Lamb also, like Studio 77, supplying their own hardware and they are beautiful quality. You've then also got your zips. They, mit, they match the zippers perfectly. Uh, this is the Sunnyside bag by Lisa Lamb. It's not only this lovely shoulder bag, you've also then got your little pouch as well to go with it. And Lisa Lamb, she's got lots of great online content. She's very active on sort of social media, so you'll be able to ask for any help. Have a look on the Facebook fan page. Full instructions from Lisa Lamb, $29.99. This is going to look beautiful beautiful in some of your your new liberty fabrics maybe especially with these colorful zips they're gonna look so so pretty full instructions your hardware included your zips your pouches and you've also got um, the flap the pocket flap included as well it takes all the hassle doesn't it and then you've also got your your front pocket um template in there everything included 29.99 do you know when this was demonstrated ben um, yes, I do, actually. Yes, I do. Oh, no, he doesn't. Was it before we were in the studio, then? Do you not see it, Charlie, either? No. It's all right. It's all right. Um, I'm sure if you go onto YouTube and type in the sunny side bag, Sewing Street, you'll be able to find it anyway. You'll be able to find it. It'll be on our YouTube channel without a doubt, um, as this was demonstrated by Lisa Lamb herself, the designer, with the lovely John Scott. Um, you've got your zips included. All comes in this little pouch. Yes. 26th of May. It was on 26th of May, if you want to watch that show, right? 26th of May. It's a PU leather flap. It's PU. I love that. Absolutely love it. And it comes with a little clasp as well. Zips with four pulls, all for $29.99. I have got the crazy um, paving bag as well. From Lisa Lamb. So crazy, girls. It's actually a collaboration between Lisa Lamb and Jenny Jackson. So when you're seeing a collaboration, yeah, you know that this is going to be... That's it. So crazy, girls. You know you're going to have a little bit of EPP in there from our Jenny Jackson. No, you don't need to put the EPP in if you don't want to, but what a beautiful feature of the bag. It comes with your stunning straps. They've got little rivets on them as well. 
um, look very, very professional with your pre-made strap. And then you have got your EPP section. So how to sew the EPP panel. It's all been done by lovely Jenny Jackson. Um, notes on how to work with uh, PU leather if you've never done it before, your PU fabrics. If that's the fabric you want to choose to go with this, maybe with the fabrics you've got left over from your unicorn bag, make yourself a lovely EPP and PU bag. Um, it explains as well how to insert, are they called rivets? The ones with the little prongs or a snap, little snaps. Oh, they're like the ones like magnetic snaps, aren't they? I suppose they're a bit like that. Um, you've then got how to quilt it as well. Lots of text and also lots of photographs from from um, the great So Crazy Girls. And they are so much fun. Those of you that actually watch. Um, those of you that ever watch the shows, they're always fabulous. Watch it back, it's 19 pounds and 98 pence. Now, one thing, whilst um, Stuart is here in the building, we had to bring on his book. He's busy signing. I don't know whether he'll be able to come on, on, on there because he's literally got 100 books to sign. He's a busy, busy man. He's a very, very busy man. But I can grab it, no problem. Um, Stuart Hillard. Bags for Life book. I have never been on a show where it hasn't sold out. Only if you, you're not too busy, because I know that he's really busy signing 100 books, which, which honestly, yeah, this will sell out in a couple, this will be gone in a couple of minutes. Those of you that would like the Bags for Life book, we're doing a Bags Galore show. We could not do it without talking about this bag because, um, yeah, every time I've been on air with Stuart, it's sold out every single time. It's, of course, we have to get him on. Just put his microphone on so he can come and have a chat to us. But this is the ultimate book for bag makers. It's called Bags for Life for a reason. It's award-winning. Um, it is full of books, and it's going to be signed for you as well. It'll be signed for you. It's full of bags for all occasions. So the great thing about it is it goes through all of the different, um, you know, fabrics or waddings, different tips on how to add structure to your bag. Different hardware can be a bit of a minefield, can't it? So everything that you need is all included there. All of your equipment, your techniques, before you even get in to your projects. So look at this. You've got a masterclass on how to, to do zips, how to shorten zips, how to make zip ends, how to add in um, a simple zip, how to make a letterbox zip. All of this is before we even get to your projects. Bindings there as well, straps there as well. And then we get into our projects. Stuart, I had to get you on for this. As it is, <laughs> your book after all. How are <laughs> you? you? I'm fine, thank you, Vix. How are you? Good. Got a nice day today, haven't we? Respectable. Whoa, we've got a really good day today. Oh, it's going to be so fab. good. It's going to yeah, be so yeah, good. Yeah. Bag making, which we're love, love, love. Launch of my new fabric range, Cross Stitch Christmas. Sally and Harrison's gorgeous Liberty dress quilt. Oh, it's all going on. Mm. All going on today. Now, we just had to quickly... I, I know you're busy mm. signing more books for us, aren't I you? I am signing more books. In I'm hundreds. Really there. Every single time that we we get more from you, they sell out. Um, it's just it is a bit of a production line, isn't it? <laughs> it is, but I'm thrilled about that. You know, I it's what it. I wanted when I wrote the book. It was I wanted to write a book that would be a bit of a, you know, um, well, a resource that you could use forever. That's why I called it Bags for Life. There's 21 bags, and if you make them just as they are, they're gorgeous bags, and you keep making them forever. But there's also, you know, you can add bits of patchwork, you could add a bit of machine embroidery, yeah. you could, I mean, I use quilt weight cotton for all of them, but you could throw in some cork, some PU, nice. all that sort of thing. They're so adaptable. And then also, you know, like I've given them sort of categories, if you like, like bags for going shopping, bags for work, bags for crafting. But there's such a lot of crossover yeah. between the different chapters. And so there are things like, for example, in the weekend in the country, um, let me show you this one. So this pattern here, the essential toiletry bag. So zippy pouch mm -hmm. with a flap mm -hmm. and a little clasp there. Um, lovely, mm -hmm. but yeah, I've seen it before. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> so what I did was the flap folds back. Oh, that's good. So there's your zippy bag, but then this is all your flap and you've got a zippy vinyl pocket, you've got um, 
different pockets here with a flap. That's going to be a nice one for your tools, for your sewing room. Well, that's exactly it. Crochet. This could be your crochet bag. This could be your EPP bag. Or, you know, if you're a paper crafter or you do colouring in, mm -hmm. you could have things like your crayons and your pencils in there. Do you know I need this for work? Because actually, I always have lots of leads. Does anybody else have like a phone charger lead, headphones or something like that? that if you're going to the gym or you're going somewhere where you need leads, they're really handy to have all the different They really are. Things. And this yeah. is another one that would work well Great. for that. So this is the absolute essentials roll up bathroom organiser. So it. you've got three vinyl pockets and I've got things like charcoal toothpaste mm -hmm. and a brush, you know, little mini toiletries. I love a mini toiletry. Oh, I do. You know, little bar Just of soap. Well, it's because you're travelling a lot, aren't you? You're up and down here A little all bit of time. bronze, a little bit of primer. <laughs> I'm not giving away anything you didn't already know. <laughs> and then everything rolls up and ties up. But also, this um, hangs on the back of the bathroom door. But equally, this could be pencils, crayons, felt tip pens, yeah. it could be um, double pointed needles, you could put some yarn in there, it could be cross stitch, Yeah. you know, all sorts of different things you can adapt. So, so even though you said, right, there's 21 projects here, they all sort of intertwine, you could pick some of your favourite techniques and use the mix and match, put pockets where you want, zips where you want, because what I love about this book is it's a real skill builder. Oh, if you've for never sure. done bags before, don't panic because you're going to learn everything you need to know within the book. That's really kind of you to say. I wanted it to be like that too and what I've done in every single pattern um, there's a little introduction. So here's the multi-wear city work bag. My multi-wear city work bag is the perfect solution for work, college, school or going to classes. It's straightforward to make but can be carried in your hand, over your shoulder or as a backpack. It's super roomy with one large internal space. The large, simple rectangle front and back are the perfect place to show fun prints, large scale designs, or even an applique logo or sports badge. So I'll give you a little description, maybe yeah. give you some ideas. And then I always say what you're gonna do that's sort of special in this okay. bag. So I've said in this project, we will make an adjustable shoulder strap apply a zip and make narrow straps for smaller metalware. So you so, could look at that and think, right, have I done that before? Yeah. Is it something that I'm going to be able to conquer yeah, today? Exactly. Good idea. Yeah. I mean, obviously you're going to do like basic sewing in all yeah. of them, but these are the special skills. And then of course you can always refer back to the first few chapters where we talk about structure and metalware and basic techniques. Brilliant. So if there's anything that you want to practice in advance, you sort of know mm -hmm. when you read the pattern what you might need to practice and then also for every single pattern there's a little box at the bottom that says make it yours so these are just they're all different ideas okay for every single bag about how you might adapt it so for this one right here just show you there's the bag <laughs> on the lovely Alice, she was art director oh. on the book. Um, use, so I've said, for example, use a super chunky zip and decorative zip pull to really draw attention. Mm -hmm. And then I've put decorate or applique the lower part of your bag, use college football badges, decorative patches yeah. or braid to customize. So like you said, you've just used sort of fabrics, but actually you could do patchwork, applique, uh, if you've got an embroidery machine, you can personalise them as you want. Oh, uh, Ellen says that she's made your messenger bag, she says she loves oh, it. Oh, thank you. That's really kind. That's well, in here, isn't it? It, there is. it is. Well, on the subject of the essential messenger bag, um, this messenger bag here, I did a Tilda version when I did the um, Chic Escape launch oh, lovely, a few yes. weeks ago. Um, I made I made this bag using the Chic Escape, but what I did then was I did an alternative bag flap, mm -hmm. and what I did was because this is just basically a, a sort of a yeah. more or less a square, mm -hmm. so it's very easy to adapt. And what I did was I made about five flying geese in a row, and then I nice. basted them diagonally across the piece of bosal, right? Mm -hmm. And then I did like stitch and flip. I stitch and flip, so I put a narrow band and then a wider piece and did the same on both sides. So you ended up with these flying geese pieced across the front so with strips either side and it looks so cool oh. and then just made it up into a bag flap. So it looked totally different. Well, you got to think outside the box then. I mean, this is always, like you said, if you just do them as you're saying here, they'll be amazing and you'll be able to bags. make loads of bags in lots of different fabrics. They're always yeah. going to look different. But if you see this as a skeleton book of your basics and then you can go wild. Exactly. So exactly. much you're going to be able to do with these. Exactly. This vinyl zippered pouch, um, you know, in this project we will sew a simple zip, make zip ends, work with vinyl, 
box corners and use your zigzag stitch to neaten raw edges. Amazing. So a good basic bag this. Yeah. But, you know, again, it's a zippy bag, but we're using vinyl to create this big window. Now I've used it for knitting and crochet, mm. but equally this could be makeup. Yeah. This could be used, well, all sorts of things. Um, a project bag, Lego bag, that yeah. would be fun. You can store your Lego in there. Well, they're Brilliant. obsessed with Lego at the moment. Are you? Well, oh, they do a club every Friday at my uh, library if you want to come. They? Yeah, Lego hmm. club. Loads going on in Warwick. Uh, Fifteen ninety-nine. The, the value price. for money is unbelievable. Um, I don't want to do the maths because you saw how shocking my maths was, Ellie. But price per bag. That is crazy, yeah, yeah, absolutely yeah. crazy. And especially, as you say, there's so much sort of personalization <laughs> you can do with this. And there are bags for all occasions. You cover oh, all bases, don't We're you? About, it's about 80p a bag, isn't it? 80p a Gosh. pattern, something like That's, that. I mean, when do you see that? Yeah. In, in, in a full book like this, it's a hardback book. It's going to last you the test of time. It's one that you're going to come back to years later. Forever. Even if you, you know, stop sewing for a few years and you just think, oh, you, you don't quite remember a technique, you can come back to it. Uh, Morning, Stuart. Saw you back at Harrogate on your shoulder. She said, I bought the book and I'm hooked. That's from Angie. Oh, in Lancashire. Thanks, Angie. That's really lovely. So, Thank this is you. lovely. You wear your own bags then. Of course they of course. do. Of course they do. Now, this one here, the Essential Hobo bag. Now, this I like the shape one, of that. Oh, I've seen this made so many times. In fact, just yesterday, I think, um, a lady sent me a picture of her version and she'd done it. You know the Riviera collection mm -hmm. from Liberty? Mm -hmm. So she'd done this section here mm -hmm. using the one that has like the little houses on. Mm -hmm. And then she'd use some floral <gasps> coordinate for rounds here. And oh, it was delicious. So lovely. It's a great bag. The shoulder strap um, is adjustable and in the simplest way. So you have the, it's part of the welt that goes up and over your shoulder. Yeah. Got pointy ends to it and then you just knot it. Oh, so okay. If you want to wear it across your body, yeah. you can kind of lengthen it and re knot. Yeah. If you want it really high on your shoulder, you can knot it higher. So it's just a really simple adaptation. That'd be nice in batiks. It would really, be beautiful yeah. in batiks or a cape yeah. or, well, anything really. You could make this in anything. Um, this is another one I've seen done so many times. It's a circular, kind of like the old swimming bags, really. Yeah. Our basis yeah. on circular base. You've got waterproof lined pocket here mm -hmm. for your books and your bits and bobs to go to the beach. And then the whole of the inside of the bag is waterproof lined as well. And I mean, I've used a waterproof lining fabric that I found in a shop, but you can use ripstop. Yep. You can use really a shower portable. curtain. Oh, brilliant. Cut it up. This is it. Absolutely. We're all about reusing and sustainability, aren't we? So that's perfect. This was my favourite bag. <laughs> this one's my favourite bag. I love this because it actually is so <laughs> versatile. I actually um, went to watch the Commonwealth Games in the did public you? gardens. In no, not there. In the oh, gardens, yeah. Leamington Spa, but there was a big screen on. Mm. It was amazing. I didn't actually go to any events and I'm really upset with myself, bearing in mind it's been on the doorstep. Yeah. But I've been thoroughly enjoying watching it all. But how good is this? If you're going to any picnic, if you're going anywhere, just have one in the car yeah. ready for when you might have a spontaneous sit on the grass somewhere. This is brilliant. Well, so, so many. Yeah. Well, so many um, like um, picnic blanket bags are actually just a blanket that's rolled up mm -hmm. with straps with mm -hmm. a strap to wear over your shoulder mm -hmm. so it doesn't actually function as a bag whereas my convertible tote and towel is actually a bag so you've got a proper big like space inside the whole of inside here you can put stuff in right because so normally you can... like you said it's normally the sort of the inners of the blanket that's yeah, inside it's all rolled there, up, yeah. yeah but so you can put your drinks you and your books and your flip-flops and everything else you need your suntan lotion and then there's a zip that runs down the side and across the bottom so then when you get to the beach you just take everything out of your bag and then you undo the zip mm -hmm. and then you've got basically it's like a six foot almost six foot wow. towel that opens out onto the beach or this could be you know fabric this could be a quilt you could use ripstop on the back to make it waterproof yeah, for picnicking yeah. and that kind of thing and then this is all a big mesh pocket in the inside of the That's bag handy. as well with about four different compartments um, there's even a pattern for the little cushion that you oh, can take brilliant. so that you can kind of relax on the beach and 
you thought of everything. <laughs> you've absolutely thought of everything. That, that's what you say. You've called it Bags for Life for a reason. Uh, Stuart, thank you so, so much. We um, honestly could talk about this for the whole hour because it is literally bags for life it's all that you need when we're doing a bags galore show we have to mention this book so thank you you've got to get signing some more haven't i've got you? a few more to sign and we'll see you in see 20 you minutes shortly. with your christmas launch oh yes <laughs> so excited i have never had stuart hillard's christmas fabric at sewing street before i've been here since day dot never done it we're so lucky that we've got stuart literally on board and um yeah we're, we're very, very proud that we're launching his Christmas collection today. Very exciting. So the bags for life is just fifteen ninety nine. Any questions you have, get them in. If there's anything that you'd like to see desperately on the show, let us know because we're 20 minutes to go and we've got loads that we want to fit in. Um, can we do this one, please? This, because the panel is so beautiful. This is Amber Makes panel. How gorgeous is this? It comes with instructions, so don't worry. Um, it's a lovely tote bag, but the artwork that our Amy does, I say our Amy, we're really lucky that she actually um, works for us as well as Amber Makes and does the most beautiful, almost like watercolor panels. How pretty is this? All of your different birds, beautiful colors used the straps everything about them are lovely look even your um your lining you've got lots of little birds and in here as well you get um a pattern to be able to do and, and, and fabric to be able to do the little mini zipper pouch as well so the panel is huge absolutely huge all of your pieces are there you literally just cut it out and um, sew them together um four left of these only four left oh this is the one. Let me see if I can see it on here. Yeah. Look. So you've got a panel that actually says here, look, secret things. What are you going to keep in there? What are you going to keep in your secret things? Oh, my secret sweets. My secret stash of sweets. Honestly, Maisie's got to a point now that she literally clocks me a mile off if I'm eating something and she like marches up to me. She's like, I want some, I want some, I want some. Whatever it is. So, oh gosh, I was sitting, hiding under the kitchen counter the other day, eating. Kieran comes around, it's like, what are you doing? Like, I'm, I'm trying to just have a chocolate bar in peace without somebody stealing it. Is that such a crime? Is that such a crime? <laughs> Oh, yes, 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 yes. I will show you the Finnish Liberty dress coat. Um, they're, they're about to sell out, by the way. Secret eating, it's a thing now in my house. But, um, so yeah, maybe I'll put my secret chocolate bars in my secret pouch. Okay, are you ready? Da, 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 da. Oh my gosh. I can't tell you how excited I am about this. Well, you can probably, um, you can probably sense it. But look. Can you see? Let me come over the other side. These are all one, in fact, just the most beautiful, beautiful fabrics. Look at the details that Sally has done, the little hanger and everything. They're all framed and they're all three dimensional. Do you know what else is so exciting about these? I can remove the dresses and change them so you can swap them around however you want. Um, these are absolutely absolutely amazing the folding techniques and your instructions they're all framed so beautifully just look at the fabrics it works so well in liberty doesn't it so so well if you do want to get ahead on the most stunning liberty dress quilt i think i've ever seen i'm putting a statement out there i think this is my favorite sally Ann harrison project but i think this is my favorite liberty quilt i absolutely adore it it's just so beautiful isn't it uh, get ahead on that because the price point is amazing as well. Absolutely amazing. Right. Do you know that we detach these? Now, Sally Ann has used little sort of like um, Velcro glue dots. We don't have any in stock because we, we didn't have any in the uh, system. So what we do have is, let me show you, some hook and Luke. Hook and Luke? Who's Luke? Loop tape. Um, We've got a couple of different colours. We've got white and we've got black. So, should we do white first? You get a whole metre, and I'm sure this would be absolutely fine. I'm sure that this would work. You would obviously need to stitch the one side of it down or put a little bit of, um, of glue, maybe. Um, we'll speak to Sally Ann and see if, if, if this would be all right, but I, I think that this would be perfect. £2.99, you get a whole metre of your hook and loop tape. Always useful for your stash, anywho, isn't it? Um, 
we've got white and we also have black £2.99 is another word just add to your order if you've shopped already if you're planning on buying any of Stuart's Christmas fabrics if you're planning on getting your Liberty dress quilt the Moda quilt the pleated cushions there's loads going on today it's only one PMP. Maybe this isn't something that you would come in and just purchase just hook and loop tape today because let's face it, your PMP will cost a bit more at 3.95. But if you're just adding it to your order, if you've already paid your post and packaging, you may as well add it in. Um, really, really useful to have Velcro or, or hook and loop, I should say, hook and loop. Uh, we've also got black. We've got black then. Um, this is one meter. The width of it is, let me see. Let me see. This is an inch, an inch wide. Two pounds and 99 pence for a meter of your hook and loop tape. As I said, we don't have the little um, glue dot Velcro ones today, but these should work. Lunch bag, lunch bag, lunch bag. Which one's the lunch bag? Um, we'll have a look, we'll have a look. Yes, no problem. Uh, just two pounds and 99 pence for your Velcro hook and loop. Okay, it's a living and living, living in love, learners. What's your code, Ben? <laughs> That's a messenger bag. Because it's going to be one of these S L L one thirty, S L L one thirty. I found it. Bearing in mind, we've got a lot going on on today's show. There's a lot going on. Oh my word! How are we all ready? A quarter to nine. Right, this is exciting. Sorry, you watching me opening the, the black bag. Here we go. This is how it will arrive just to you um, with your lovely tissue paper folded so beautifully oh I don't want to they're saying just tear it open oh this is great because look you've also got your um what's it called is it called Thermalan the one with the metal one running through so you've got your Lola lunch bag all of your instructions from Kerry absolutely love that you always get your little welcome note you always have your full size templates and beautiful instruction set with photographs with um, text as well all included and then look at the fabrics oh, I always love the fabrics that Kerry chooses you've got the gorgeous florals the hummingbird oh this is Lewis and Irene stunning quality stunning stunning quality so you've got the two Lewis and Irene fabrics you've then also got your zip included always include well you've got your strap included there as well you've also got um, what are we using this for let's have a look we've also got this is sort of your your uh, it's going to keep your your lunch cool or keep your your lunch warm whichever way you whichever which whatever you're storing in there you're going to be able to um, to keep warm right so you've got your that's your binding so you've got your zipper your magnetic clasp your binding your thread in the little sweetie pouch look you're getting here your your zipper your magnetic clasp all included in your kit for $21.99 how lovely is that everything that you need everything there that you need Carol that's for you my love that is just for you. Now, your name doesn't have to be Carol to get this. Everybody can make the most of it. Um, but it is good that you've got your wadding included and the specialised wadding that's the one with the metal in. Obviously, don't put it in the microwave. But it is going to keep your, uh, your bits and bobs nice and, and, and cool. Shall we do some more zips? Because those early bird zips were very, 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 very popular. We've got some lovely zips if you have got your Stuart Hillard book your bags for life the prices on these zips are always absolutely amazing we've got the bright colors so the set of nine inch bright zips Ben set of five you've got um, nine inch so shorter zips if you're doing little cosmetic bags these are going to be ideal in green yellow um, in pink also in blue I didn't know we had the big pink rotated cutting mat back, by the way. It is on pre-order, I think, if you want it. Or I don't know if it is, actually. We might need to, we might need to put it on there for, for, uh, for everybody. 
because I've never seen a big pink, um, a pink one like this. We've got 18 inches. Oh, thank you. So your set of uh, five zips, bright colours, all $3.99. Um, hang on. That value for money is amazing. That's five zips. I know you did a great deal on the early bird. I know that they were longer, but seriously, five zips for $3.99. You've spoiled us there. You have spoiled us there. We've got... Um, that's the, yeah, that's the right one. That's ending 37. Just so you can differentiate on the website because there's another one that says, um, oh, these are six inch. So we've also got the shorter ones, the little six inch ones. It's nice to just be able to have, um, it's nice to just to be able to have a selection of colorful zips, isn't it? The six inches, just very, very quickly, you've got the beautiful colors in there as well. It's gonna be a sorted selection of brights. It's a nice one for little um, little zippy pouches. Just we've got the eighteen inch inch uh, rotating cutting mat coming up after. By the way, we'll do it next. Three pounds ninety nine for all five zips. Right. We're all talking about the cutting mat in my ear. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we only launched the uh, the big. Did we have the big pink or the big green? No, it was the big pink, wasn't it? We have. Oh no, it was the green. No. We had the small pink and the big green, and now we've got the big pink one in. We've never had the big uh, rotating cutting mat. Now, at the moment, this is completely static. I am so pleased that we've got Sally Ann Harrison in today um, because every single time I talk about rotating cutting mats, I think of her. Uh, I think it was Sally Ann who actually introduced me to a rotating cutting mat, and I thought, what's the point in that? Like, why do you need that? And then I realised, oh, this is so useful. If you uh, have got a designated sewing space, amazing, this is a great size. If you don't, store it under a sofa, store it under a bed. Just keep it flat and it will last the test of time. But this is now completely sort of stable if you don't want it to rotate. If you do, if we flip it over, you've got here four little locking devices, flip them in, um, it's got like a lovely sort of padded back, like foamy back, so it will all adhere to your surface. So this base one will stay put. And then this one has a full 360 rotation. It is amazing. So those of you that are working with a rotary cutter, it is essential that you use a cutting mat. And it is also essential that you never cut towards yourself. So if you are doing some quite intricate cuts where you want to make sure that everything's all in place, you don't want to move your fabrics, but you're also aware that you need to be cutting away from yourself. Imagine you've got a square fabric here that you're cutting into four and you've cut it in half perfectly. You don't want to move your fabrics to reposition them because that takes time and it might move your accuracy. Literally spin it around and cut it again. Instead of having to do an awkward angle with your body without having to cut unsafely, it is perfect. And that full 360 rotation, baby, is amazing. It's 18 inches. Can I do a very, very quick Google search, please, Ben? And can you just search 18 inch rotating cutting mat? Full stop. Just put that and see what comes up as your search. Because, not a direct comparison, but I saw one online the other day that was over 100 pounds. And I just presumed, oh, well, I've never seen the big cutting mats. I didn't know how much they were. If you've got a... If, if you have a look, the, low, the locking rotating cutting mats can be a lot of money. $32.99. And bearing in mind, this is covered under our post and packaging as well. So it's going to be sent to you, you know, really securely. It's going to be sent to you um, uh, in, in the post, nice and flat, and it's going to get to you safely. Just £3.95, which is our post and packaging. Bearing in mind, uh, if you do get the, um, if you do get your um, fabrics today, if you get any of your quilt kits, then you will also be still, well, your p and is paid, isn't it? £32.99 pence for your rotating cutting mat. Amazing! Every single time we bring these on air, they sell rapidly, so just be aware. 
throughout the day that they are available. So easy to lock them back into uh, to place if you want to use it as a static cutting mat. If you're squaring up 10 inch blocks, ideal. If you're cutting any of your fat quarters, if you're any of your, your smaller pre-cuts, but even doing your main cutting, absolutely ideal. Right, is there anything else that we need to squeeze in, Ben? Let's have a look. On the website, everything is loaded onto the web. Everything that we've missed is on the web. Um, there are literally more of you who have got the Bags for Life book in your basket than we have availability. Check out on that one before we welcome Stuart in. Um, all of these are on today's show deals. On pre-order, we're going to be loading through and taking them to the best prices. So have a look. You've got more Living in Loveliness kits there. You've got, oh, Susie Duncan's little bag on the prairie is now actually sold out. Um, well done if you got that. So yeah, skip ahead of us. There's loads on there. There's uh, another one sold out there. Uh, so thank you for, for skipping ahead. There is a lot of things that we didn't get a chance to show. So it's all on pre-order and all on uh, today's show deals. Right, are we ready? We have got da, 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 the launch of Stuart Hillard's brand new Christmas collection coming up literally in the next few minutes. Stuart is here, going to talk through, going to do some sewing as well, answering all of your questions. Get ready with your phone, with your, with your, your laptop, however you're going to buy this. Get the app if you can because it's going to be a really, really busy hour and it's a limited collection, really limited collection. Grab it whilst you can. We're back with Stuart right after this. Hi everyone, I'm Sally Ann Harrison and I am a patchwork and quilting fanatic um, and I've been sewing all my life. I'm currently based um, here in Bristol um, but I used to live in the USA and that's where I picked up the sewing bug big time. I suppose you could say that my sewing journey began when I was about eight or nine. I distinctly remember the first thing that I ever made um, and it was I, I, I say I ever made on my own, obviously I did sewing at school, but I came home and I chopped up one of my mother's old uniforms and she used to work in a store. I cut up these little pieces of cotton and I made myself a bikini top and I can remember the absolute thrill of putting this little bikini top on and going out on my bicycle and riding up and down the road and that was the first thing that I ever made and I was totally, totally smitten. My claim to fame has to be um, demonstrating at the Houston International Quilt Show. Um, I am very heavily into wool applique and I developed a technique where you would use a perlate thread on the top of a sewing machine and they were interested in Houston I actually went along to demonstrate in open studios, studios whilst the show was on. It was really, really magical to have so many people that were interested in what I could do with a sewing machine. I am one of the longer running um, guests now on Sewing Street. Goodness knows how that happened. But I still get an absolute buzz every time I come up and do a demo and I love receiving your messages and the feedback after the show, it's, it's absolutely amazing. I'm hoping to bring you lots of new techniques and different ideas, so do stick with me and follow my Sewing Street journey. Hi, it's Yvonne here. As you all know, I was born in Carrick, Fergus in Northern Ireland. And we're getting to that point in the year whenever I get to go home. From the 1st of September, the Stormont Hotel in Belfast becomes the home of Quilt Fair, which is an event that together with my friends, Margaret and Helm, we have reintroduced into the, North, into the island of Ireland. We are really looking forward to this, our second event. We have retained many of the features that you liked from last year's show. We have those nice wide aisles. We have all those expert traders and our free talks and demos in our schoolhouse. In addition, this year, we have added our creative workshops, which Sewing Street has so generously sponsored for us. So this year we have added in two exhibitions. One of them, Old Roots, New Shoots, is from the Irish Patchwork Society. And the other exhibition is the work from our traders. It's, it's entitled, This Is What We Do. So I really hope that I will see a lot of you there. We thank everyone for their continuing support in this venture that we have to create the best little quilt show in Ireland. Have you heard?
heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street, you can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. It's Christmas! Yay! I love Christmas. I do. Yeah. Um, but I'm even more excited <laughs> because we have never had your Christmas collection here at Sewing Street. <gasps> we haven't, we haven't. And we've got the brand new TV launch of Cross Stitch Christmas. So nobody has seen this on TV. This is so no, exciting. Absolutely right. <gasps> absolutely oh. right. It's brand spanking new. First of all, it's absolutely gorgeous. And I know there is a lot yeah. that goes into, you know, the process of designing your own range, your own launch. Yeah. But it's, it's something you, you, you've done for a while and you're really passionate about. About, yeah, yeah, yeah. About five years now I've okay. been doing fabrics and um, I love the process every single time and every single time I try and make my range different and, yeah. you know, because I always say I love all the fabrics. Mm -hmm. So I don't know that I've necessarily got a style, yeah. but I love doing cross stitch. Yeah. It does take a long time. And of course, Christmas projects, most of the time we want them to be quick, easy, yeah. beautiful results, but pretty fast. So Cross Stitch Christmas really it's came so out of pretty. my love of cross stitch, folk art, and also um, knitting and Fair Isle. I wasn't sure whether I wanted to do Fair Isle Christmas or Cross yeah. Stitch Christmas, which is why there's a little bit of a Fair isle influence in some of the fabrics. Like for example, this one right here, and there's a red version and a white version of this. But you sort of get the idea. It could almost be a sort of skiing sweater yes! or a Christmas jumper, couldn't yes, it? Yes, it could. Yeah. Absolutely. And that would be a really fun idea to actually cut out little jumper shapes and applique them <gasps> or make oh. them, um, applique them onto felt, add a little yeah. loop and have them on the Christmas tree. Good idea. Um, lots you could do with that. Got to tell you a funny story. Vince. Okay. So I thought, because obviously I designed the fabrics, but mm -hmm. then a a professional <laughs> has to then render them I understand, you yeah. know what I mean onto the computer and that sort of thing and I just thought oh well, it'll be easy won't it just say cross stitch and like click a button and every single one of these crosses had to be hand drawn oh. like on a computer screen oh my word really Oh, and there are a lot of crosses on here. So probably would have been quicker for the person to have actually Cross stitched, stitched it. it. That's exactly what we said. And <laughs> I shouldn't laugh really because I didn't have, I didn't <laughs> have didn't to, I didn't have to do it. Exactly. Someone but is cursing you I right nearly, now. I nearly broke the <gasps> desire. And she said to me, I never want to see a cross stitch ever again. And I was like, well, funny you should say that because for next Chris. Oh my gosh. So you're already thinking about cross. You're already right. thinking about the Christmas next year. Now, oh yeah, it's done. It, oh, is it? It's done. Oh my word! It's done. Now it is a limited collection, <laughs> isn't it? It is limited. So those of you that have got it already, well done. Ben is already telling me before we get started, before we get on to the cross stitch. Just so you know, I need to let you know. Go on. We also have some of the Scandi Fat Quarters from last um, yes. year. <clears throat> There's only three left, so we're just going to put them there. There's three left. They all went on pre-order. So there's, if you do want to grab them, yes, we can have a quick flash one. up of these. Well, I'm just going to grab the um, 
Union flag cushion. So this was a cushion that I made. Oh, I love this cushion, Stuart. That is <laughs> gorgeous. Cute, isn't it? Um, and um, I felt very pleased with myself because this fabric here in the court, this is one piece of fabric. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, sorry. No, it no. isn't. Sorry. This is one piece of fabric. Yeah, yeah. Right, and then I've added triangles. But this, these little bits here, this is one fabric, like oh, a stripe. Oh, I love that. I love that. So the stripe is in, there's the little squares. Yeah. You also have one. Oh, these are beautiful, aren't they? Mm, that's this one through here. These are called Disselfinks. Are they? Yeah, it's like a kind of German folk art bird. There and it the is. Stripe. You get the stripe in there. Oh, that's beautiful. Right, the Fat Quarter Pack has sold out. We are about to launch the brand new cross stitch christmas um shall we do the mega bundle first just because i know a lot of people are going to want the whole shebang we also have a panel don't we which is yes. very exciting loads of you got the panel as well it's very busy already so the mega bundle includes all of the prints by the heart uh, in cut into half meter cuts already it's only 24.99 and honestly when you see these as well the price per half meter i could not believe it stuart because the quality no. of it doesn't reflect it this no. is really really beautiful quality well, yeah, yeah, of course beautiful. you wouldn't put your name to anything wow. anything less no exactly craft cotton company who i work with with all my fabric ranges and have with, with for the last five years you know work really hard to bring beautiful quality quilting cottons mm -hmm. to the market to the sewers to dressmakers so they're really interested in beautiful quality and of course i insist on it so this is the white um kind of almost fair eyely type yeah you've got the red as well of course i want to have a look at this one this yeah. looks exciting because you have also again got that little bit of a stripe running through half the stock of the bundle has gone by the way you have now let me show you this oh. now this is <laughs> so this isn't a panel no 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 okay. this is so if you were to buy three meters yeah, of this yeah. you, it all comes in one continuous yeah set. we'll do it by the half meter in a moment as well so this is half of the panel so you've got these wonderful almost like fair eye patterns they're all rendered in cross stitch though with snowflakes and stars gorgeous. this lovely wide border gorgeous little hearts and then you have this wonderful kind of snowy village scene oh beautiful but then when you open I want to it just frame up, these like a cross stitch artwork look it's actually reflected oh. down the middle brilliant so so what are these going to be useful for then if you're if you're just getting half meter in the bundle right. what am i going to use this for do you think well let me show you a few things that i did so for example oh, this was offcuts <laughs> this was made with offcuts so what i did was i used that lower part yeah. of the panel oh yeah yeah so the snowflakes, snowflakes but also this section here either side this like cranberry red section as well this is so all clever. one piece of fabric i then did like a little three quarters of an inch finished strip of um uh is it silver mink we call mm -hmm. it yeah Solid. it is silver mink yeah and then i did we've already seen it this fabric yeah. yeah just cut some panels for the end some rectangular panels and then i just stitched some rick rack down the center because yeah, of course nice it texture. lends itself very well it does and then just did a um zip back just in the silver mink. So you're getting half a meter of this one. So, so I used that. Let me just show you something else I made with it though, Vic. Okay. Because there's only three bundles of... left, by the way. Two left. One this, left. So this is a gift bag. Oh, a big sucker. Yes. I would like a big sucker present like that. That's exactly amazing. Right. So what I did was I used the obviously the lower part uh -huh. of the well the whole panel really the yeah. whole um, fabric. Yeah, the, the so fabric. Then, you haven't had to piece yeah, up to there. So then I pieced in a bit of the silver mink yeah. again because I wanted to put a bit of rip rack, mm -hmm. and then I used some of this fabric here which we oh. haven't looked at yet. You get that in we'll the bundle. We'll have a look in a sec. Yep. Did that across the top, and then I just used this bit here. Mm -hmm. Is a little bit of that wide stripe. It's this little bit oh, yes. that I cut out. I got a little bit spare, and I made some little drawstring. And have you actually cross stitched onto here? No, you no, haven't. It's oh gosh, printed. it's so clever. Yeah. From, from there, it looks like you've literally cross stitched. Yeah, all across it. it's beautiful. Well, Vicky kind of did <laughs> on a computer. Yes, she did. Um, right, the bundle's completely sold out. You're ready by the half meter. I'm just going to go for this one because I know how many people are going to want that scene continuing. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. yes, it is. If you want this on a continuous, like you said, it runs like that. 
So if you want, you know, a big, I'm thinking, um, Christmas tree skirt. Yes. And you want all those houses running round. Continuous length. That would look amazing. Yes. If you want you a see, skirt, imagine a circular skirt That would with be this. cool. Or an <gasps> apron. Yes. It'd be really fun. Um, because, you see, if we had done this, this stripe, mm -hmm. the natural way would have been to have done it across from selvage to selvage. But then maximum you've got is 42 inches. Mm -hmm. And I wanted it running down the side so that you could have long borders on a quilt, on a throw, something like that. Wow. Um, the other thing as well is if you just want to make a simple tote bag or yeah. gift bags, That's it. it's there, it's all ready to go. Uh, but you've also got these really useful sections that you could cut up and piece. I love the detail. Look at this. You've got little hearts that are coming out. It's like the smoke out the chimney. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you've got the little moons there. You've got snowflakes. The, it's, the detail in this, Stuart, is beautiful. It's super cute, isn't it? And look at the price. It's four ninety nine a half metre. This is what half a metre looks like, which is sold out as well. Oh, Julie, me Julie. Me Julie, happy birthday. 61st birthday. <laughs> Christmas. Ooh, ooh. Love it, love it, love it. Loads of messages coming in for you, Stuart. These fabrics are gorgeous, Stuart. Got mine. How about Christmas jumper bunting decorations? Perfect. Love it, love it. Perfect, perfect. Uh, morning, Stuart. Gorgeous fabric. Good to see you back on TV. Hope you're ha uh, feeling better. That's from Kim. Thank you're you, Kim. Feeling better? Yes, indeed, I am. Good. Absolutely fighting good, good. fit. Thank you, Kim. Thank you. Um, this one, by the way, all of them are going to sell out today just so you know don't wait the 72 in baskets there's nine units left and we're oh. presuming you're all having just one unit whereas this is the fabric that i think everybody is going for twos everyone's going for at least a meter um don't panic even though i'm telling you that it's about to sell out it's always the curse of the one, isn't it? Whenever I say, oh, there's one left, and then it will take ages to sell. Because everyone will think, oh, it's not going to be me. Yeah, yeah. You haven't missed it just yet. And the colour palette. Mm. I'm pleased that you've gone for this traditional sort of reds and, uh, you know, those gorgeous sort of burgundies and this, like you say, silver mink colour mm. and white. It's going to go with everybody's decor, I think, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm very traditional yeah. at Christmas. It's Big reds, greens, golds, yeah. whites, you know. I just love that. And, um, and of course, as well, <clears throat> um, red and white is a classic for quilters, mm -hmm. classic red and white quilts, and also if you love red work. So, for example, maybe you've done stitcheries or cross stitches or something like that, yeah. and you want to create like a little border or mm -hmm. create that into a cushion mm -hmm. or a Christmas stocking, and you need some fabrics that will go with, mm -hmm. these are perfect. Uh, now, we had a message about what red, because it's very difficult, especially on the website, yeah. if you are going to try and match up for linings, etc., or if you want it yes. to go a long way. We've picked out a few reds. Um, at High Street Gorgeous Fabric, I've been lucky enough to, to have bought on pre-order, which is the best plain red to go with, Karen. Right. I'll ask the expert. Oh, Which well, one are you going to go now with? Now, then, the it really, really depends what look you're going for. I, I used all of them okay. in my samples. And I also, do you mind just grabbing the silver mink and the oh, white, Oh, yeah, because I do like that. Is this a bundle by the child, or are they all individual? Individual. Because yeah. that's a nice complimenting <clears throat> bundle, yeah. actually. I'd I mean, get to, one of each. To start off with, you know, white is an absolute no-brainer it's white's in there it's perfect so if you want to lighten freshen or maybe you want to like fussy cut things or you want just things to stand out go with that lovely snow white mm -hmm. then the silver mink um, I just brought it's a slight, it's a warm shade and it goes absolutely beautifully with these reds and it just adds a lovely kind of folky mm. country yes. softness to Silver it. Silver mink is always one of my favourite complementing fabrics. Them. It goes with so much, I'm obsessed doesn't it? With it? But it's never in stock by the half metre. So if I were you, I'd be getting metres of that one yeah. whilst it's there. I use this so much in my samples. Now I love, love, love this really deep. Uh, almost like a claret burgundy and you can see that this absolutely picks up the deepest reds mm -hmm. in the whole collection mm -hmm. so if you want something maybe like to add a strong binding border yeah. little folded flange inserted into a seam covered button something yeah. like that this really deep red is so Perfect. that's called claret. claret. It's 379 and a half metre and it does match in beautifully really with does. the burgundy on here. Um, did you have the graphics for silver mink, by the way, Ben? Did you put those in or did I miss them? 
Here they are. If you do want silver mink, 379 and a half meter, really lovely quality quilting weight cotton, just 379. Um, just classic white that Stuart mentioned here is again about to appear on your screen. I think, has this one sold out now individually? Yeah, that one's now sold out by the half meter. Um, Okay, there's one you need left. So keep your eyes peeled on the website. If Curse any the half of, meter. <laughs> if anything jumps back in stock, grab it. Thick grab it, grab it. <laughs> Honestly. Three seventy nine. And then we've also got the red. So this was the question. Which yep. red would you put with it? So this one is ending six one. I think is this scarlet? Okay, which one is oh, in sixty one? I think this might be cut this is cardinal. No. Um, this is sixty one. This is cardinal, isn't it? Yeah, so Cardinal, I think, is is a pretty close match mm -hmm. um, to the red in the background. I mean, none of them are exact matches, no. of course. We didn't use the solids as a as a colour palette, but they go really, really well. Yeah. And I've used them in all of my samples, you know, throughout, and I've used them in linings and things like that. So they work. They're going to work really, really well. Okay. Um, and then the last one is Scarlet. Now this is a it's little a bright, lighter and yeah. brighter. Yeah, it's all, it all comes down to what effect you want. Yeah. Sometimes you want that lightning, brightening. Sometimes you want the drama of the claret. Mm -hmm. You know, I love that sort of real strong contrast. Personally, personally, I'd be going with claret, silver mink, and maybe get a half meter of white. And as the well. white, yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Just, I mean, I'm not the expert, but the, I mean, well, you've already picked out the colours perfectly, so it saves going through all the solids on the website and thinking, right, which red, which colours are going to go, they've done it for you, all of those colours go really, really well. Right, uh, there is literally one unit, it's about to go. There's so many people trying to check out on two, you can't, there's one unit left. If you want it, it's there. But you still get plenty do? there and it would be great for a stocking, a couple of bags, you know. Let's have a look at the ones that we were looking at before as well, oh, yeah. the, the ones with the lovely heart. This is going to be really lovely to do the little Christmas jumper bunting that we were talking about, or tree decoration. Yes, now I'm just going to grab this down. Oh, look at this. This is the Christmas shop. Can you see, there's almost like a secondary pan. I didn't notice that you've also got this sort of zigzag, zigzag. border as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Very and you can, you can highlight that. So for example, on this stocking, Oh, Charlie, the director, said he loves it. That's it really is nice. gorgeous. <laughs> so, so what I did was I use it's the yeah, it's the white version of this same okay. print, um, but I used it for the cuff, uh -huh. and you can see just the simplest of fussy cutting. You know, where you just line up your ruler with kind of a straight line on the the motif, and then you've got the lovely little hearts around the bottom, and this little zigzag across the top. This is what I talk about when I say fabrics that give a lot of bang for the buck. Mm. If you used a floral or a plain or a whatever, this would be a cuff. Mm -hmm. A cuff's a cuff. But because of the way the fabric that I've used, suddenly I look like I've done something clever. Yeah. Suddenly it looks so much more than it really is. It's a strip of fabric, but it looks really cute. A little bit of pom-pom tucked into the seam there. It's two pieces of fabric seen mm. together with the pom-pom in between ever so easy the hard work's done for you with the placement of the the patterns on the on the fabrics yeah. like you say fussy cutting is made really really easy it means that you're not going to be wasting lots of fabric too fussy cut actually oh, no, not at all not at all i mean you've loads of basically stripes across the fabric yeah and then i've used a little bit more to applique the heel and the toe nice and what i did for those was i just cut out the shape twice one in outer one in a plain white fabric yeah put them right sides together and I sewed along these two edges and then turned it through to the right side so I'd got a turned edge and I did the same on this curved edge. Go on then, let's do the white, which is the one that you used for the cuff and the uh, the toe and the heel. Uh, no, this one. This oh, one. sorry. What? Everything's gone. Ah, have we got anything available? Right, we'll still show you just because I think it's nice to see. So this was the white one. This one has sold out. Well done if you managed to get that one. The white, I love this as well. Look mm. at that. We haven't even had a chance to show it and it's um, sold out on pre-order. Oh, comes it has. in two colourways. Yeah. Because the red sold out. Oh. Are we oh, going to well be able to get Thank more of everyone. these, Stuart? I don't know, to be honest with you, because Before Christmas? Christmas sells out so quickly. Okay. I mean, I mean, I've got a festival of quilts and I don't think I'm going to have any of my own fabric there. Oh. But I never, you, you know what, I never, I never jump in there and pre-order because I think I'd be holding it back. 
back. Yeah, yeah. And if other people want it sooner, then why so should I stop them? So you've gone for it. You've given us all the stock. This is it. Basically. <gasps> okay. This, this is the one that I used for the stocking body. Oh, lovely. And all I did, see, I love fabrics and I design fabrics that help us mm -hmm. as well in lots of ways. So this one I designed with this lovely crosshatch design. And so when I came to layer and quilt this, I didn't have to mark That's anything. It. I just, just stitched those on lines. those that follow the lines. Brilliant. Follow the lines. It's so easy. Okay. You've also got for us a panel. I do. We have got a panel. We have quantity <laughs> of the panel. Get ready, everybody. Are you ready? Third of the stock sold on pre-order. Okay. This goes perfectly with all of the fabrics that you've just seen. It's a huge panel, and I love it because it's also a project. When I say project, you can make two bags yes. with this panel, can't you? And it's got all the instructions there for you as well. That's right. Everything's on there. Um, so basically, um, I, excuse me. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, thank you. I love, I love a, a panel at Christmas mm -hmm. because we want to make things. We all enjoy a homemade Christmas, but frankly, I live in the real world. Do you have so time? do you. So do you at home. Mm -hmm. We have not got endless time to make these gorgeous creations, and I don't want anybody feeling guilty because they haven't got time to cross stitch everyone's bags. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. If you have time for that, I admire and salute you. I really do. But what I wanted to do was create this panel so you can create these gorgeous gift bags. Um, they're absolutely gorgeous and sweet. You could use them as mini shopping bags, yeah, of course. Lovely. But also you can use, because I've said it many times, Fix, I am so rubbish at wrapping. Oh, yes. Right? I don't enjoy it. I think I start out thinking I'm going to be brilliant at wrapping this no. year. I'm going to be really innovative and find lots of different cool ways of doing it. But that's ideal. That's lovely. And, and these things that people can reuse, bring them out year after year. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Well, these could be used as decoration. Yeah. I mean, you could you could put some padding inside and then have like sort of candy canes and Cute. whatever and yeah. just sort of put them next to the fireplace the or by the tree. tree. Yeah. Exactly right. You know, um, but uh, really fun to make and quick and easy. And you've done another amazing price. This is lovely quality, really lovely quality. £9.99. Look at the tags. Yes, so I didn't make those up, but you get four gift tags on there as well. So at its simplest, you could, I would put some Bondi web on the back of the tab mm -hmm. and then slightly bigger um, and cut them out neatly. Then I'd fuse that to a piece of felt mm -hmm. or even a double layer of felt and then cut the felt out about maybe quarter of an inch bigger all round using pinking shears. Yeah. And then I would stitch around the outside of the fabric just okay. to secure it. Yeah. And then you want to do like a brass eyelet. You can, you know, you can get oh, the little lovely. eyelet punches yeah. through the hole. And then you can use those either on the Christmas tree, you nice can use day. them on gifts. Yeah. You could put a little, you could um, sew a little piece of plain fabric on the other side and then write your message. Yes, oh, postcards, fabric <coughs> postcards. That would be great. Get some Decaville and put some fabric postcards. Decaville would be ideal. Or um, have them as table setting places, couldn't you? Broider people's names onto them. That's a good Gorgeous idea. I love that. Yeah, use them on a napkin ring. Yeah. Uh, Mum, dad, you know, whatever. Yeah. Now, the other thing I wanted to say was, of course, I've designed this panel to be used to make two gift bags. However, I'm always looking to think, and well, when I'm designing now, I'm looking thinking, could this be something else? Go on. So I actually think what we've got here are four really gorgeous square motifs. We could square these up. So we could, or rectangles, so we could make four pillows. Four mini little cushions for the sofa. Four mini cushions. Yeah. We could also make four table mats, place mats, yeah. for Christmas dinner. Um, we've also, of course, got Wall these pieces slows. down here strips, uh, for yeah. the um, handles. Uh -huh. But you could use these instead for maybe putting like a little border around yeah. one of them or adding some extra embellishments. There's so many different ways that you can be creative um, with these Well, panels. I love Christmas wall art. Frame them at Christmas. Yeah. Put them up, um, up, you know, as a Christmas decoration. Now, oh, these yeah. bits you cut out here, yeah. I love that you've used your background, still using little crosses yeah, look, yeah, in, yeah. in the background as well. So nothing's going to go to waste again no. you've thought of everything and every little bit of fabric you're going to be able to use for something yep. um, and you don't have to buy separate instructions you get everything printed on the bottom how to make up that's really your useful, your bag yeah yeah <laughs> 
Um, that is also about to sell out. There are five left. We had hundreds of everything. In fact, there's 115 people who are going to miss out on that. Oh, gosh. <gasps> I'm so sorry. Please get us more. Right, buying team, you've got to get on to Stuart at 10 o'clock. We need to get it's more. It's nothing to do with me. Oh, no. I designed the fabric. Oh, no. I w listen, I would let you have as Endless. everything. Endless. You know? Yeah, 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 I would. I would. But, um, yeah. Okay, that's about Not to sell department. out. Don't worry, though. I mean, we're going to have to find something to do for the rest of the hour, aren't we? So, you've got a little candle mat for us. This is ideal. <laughs> yeah, Love it's it. really cute, isn't it? Really cute. Really lovely. <coughs> now, this, when I showed this on... Um, when I showed this on social media, this was very, very popular. And lots of people said, can you show us how to make this? So, I thought this would be really nice. Yeah, that's beautiful, isn't it? There's a nice little table centre, yeah. pop your candle on. You could have, make multiple of them and put all your, your veggies on in the... Do that's you, right. Is that, do you, yeah, do you, you ever plate up a Christmas dinner or do you let everybody sort of help themselves? Do you like your broccoli it dish? Depends. You if do, I'm doing mass catering, a few years out. ago... No, no, we plated it all. Oh. So Charlie and I, a couple of years ago, we had all the family, all the family. And what we did was, we, it was almost like a hospital menu. <laughs> So it was literally Charlie printed out these pages and it was every single thing that we'd got and then it was like small, medium, large portion or not at all. And we gave everybody out as it oh, arrived in a good. pen and people ticked it off. Oh, wow. And then Charlie and I were just there and we were like... Yeah? Yeah. I've always watched, you know, when I was a child... I know this is a really weird thing to tell you. Go on. But when I was a child, school dinners fascinated me. The dinner ladies fascinated. And when they used to do the mashed potato oh, with yeah. a nice cream scoop. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I was fascinated. It was everything. All I wanted was for my mum to do mashed potato with a nice oh, cream see, scoop. Oh, see, school dinners were just not good at our school at all. Remember, like, semolina was your dessert, wasn't oh, it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Horrible. Oh. Right, just so you know, How we're talking you? about embellishing. You've used lots of lovely rickrack. I have. As we're kind of running out on everything at the moment, <coughs> while Stuart's doing his demonstration, your main graphic is for red rickrack. It's four metres, six millimetres wide, ideal <coughs> for all of these projects. Can add a bit of texture to your cushions or your mm. stockings? It's lovely. There's different colours which we'll go through in a bit. Go on then, Stuart. It's How just, do we make our candle? It's just back? the easiest, easiest extra little embellishment isn't it and you, you don't know. need to do a wave line literally straight the way through you can sew straight just a straight down. stitch Perfect. just a straight stitch you know because it's not going to fray it's yeah. not going to fray or anything like that so you literally nice. just sew down the center and i didn't even pin or baste it in place i just sort of held it and stitched slowly yeah and sort of maneuvered it into position i did exactly the same thing with the candle mats mm -hmm. But I mean, you could use a glue stick and stick it down, but I mean, yeah. you don't have to. So anyway, let me show you how to make it. Well, is there a pattern or anything, or are you just gonna show just us gonna a show little you. freebie? I'm gonna show you the method yeah. of, you, you know. Perfect. Teach a man to fish. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very and much. And then you can adapt it, of course. So, right, what you start with. I'll what... be your pressing assistant, if Thank you'd you like. Thank you very much. Because I stood next to the iron. So you wanna start off <clears throat> with some paper. So I just taped a couple of bits of ordinary paper together, mm -hmm. okay, and um, then I started off by using a sort of medium-sized dinner plate mm -hmm. to draw a circle, mm -hmm. and then I cut my circle out. Um, so this is why it's really adaptable. You could use a saucer, dinner plate, draw around a bowl, you know, but that's going to give you the basic size. Your candle mat's going to be a little smaller than that. Then what you want to do is fold your circle down the middle and then again uh, into quarters and then one more time into eighths okay and I'm a great one for recycling <laughs> now then once you've done that so this will be just like um, a more rounded you know an eighth of a circle mm -hmm. so what you want to do is measure down probably about half an inch to three quarters of an inch put a little mark measure about three quarters of an inch down, make a little mark, and then you want to get something round. I've got like a little bowl that I've used so many times. Yeah, if yeah, I didn't, that's If I ever lost it, I'd have to stop designing. <laughs> so you just put that and We'd make sure. That's ideal. It, yeah, just make sure it touches both marks and okay. then draw around and then cut. And then when you open it out, you'll have your little paper template. And if you don't like the shape of it, 
do it again. Have another go. Elizabeth said, morning, Stuart and Vix. My mum was the cook at school. She said school dinners were fabulous. Yeah. See, not all school dinners were bad like mine then. No, no, no. They see, definitely I... had the little scoop. I remember the scoop. The ice cream scoop for mashed potato. I tell you, it was everything to me. <laughs> everything. And I used to love that they would ask when you went for your pudding, when you were custard, yeah. do you want red or yellow? Red or yellow custard? Red or yellow. Oh, but it was always like, had a... a a skim, o skim over the top, it'll slop it or no. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Right then, so what I've got here is I've got a bit of batting, mm -hmm. ordinary quilt batting. You could use H640, H630. It could be scraps that you kind of put together with um, tape. Mm -hmm. You know, use your scraps up. This is a great opportunity to use up your little bits and pieces. So now what I've got. <coughs> excuse me is got my batting yeah and I'm gonna put my outer fabric down onto it first this is a fusible batting so do you mind yeah. just giving that little press just don't get the iron on the batting yeah absolutely um, I'll get into I'll get into trouble yeah you really will is everybody keeping this iron nice and tidy like nice and We're clean doing our best mum <laughs> Doing I can't say the same for the uh, ironing board outside. That'd be perfect, thank you. So it doesn't have to be ironed onto within an inch of its life, you know, just okay. that would be great. Okay, so all right then, now you'll notice what I've done is I've cut this into a rectangle and there's a reason why I've cut it into a rectangle. Just roughly, not yep. to, to shame you cutting on the telly, but cheers, just, just, just roughly cut che it out. Che cheers. <laughs> I was actually trying to do a really neat <laughs> job. So what I'm going to do now is fold that piece of fabric in half and then I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew down the fold. And I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch. Which is number 46 on this machine, Correct. isn't it? But I'm going to extend the stitch length to its longest stitch length, which is five. Uh, Stuart, I've really, really fallen in love with this machine, you know. I've been recommending yeah. it to so many people. There's a lot of my friends who uh, are looking for a machine at the moment. In fact, I don't know whether I should say this, because I don't know if it's for a gift for somebody, but my friend Laurie works over at Hobby Maker. She's just getting one of these for her dad's girlfriend yeah. who hasn't sewn for years and years and wants something you know that's going to be able to do a little bit of everything a little bit, of, a everything. bit of dressmaking a lot of everything. Uh, and it's got lots of great dressmaking stitches on here hasn't it it really has it's, it's lovely a cool machine. machine it's a great machine so what i did was i sewed a quarter of an inch along yeah. here all right sewed a quarter of an inch along here and then i just run my scissors down or you could rotary cut to remove the fold so basically what okay. i've done is i've cut my fabric in half and i've stitched it back together oh okay yeah the reason why i've done that is because ordinarily when you sort of like have something turned through yeah. you leave a little gap on the outside don't you right do you know yeah, what i mean yeah, yeah. Well, so can you're you not imagine need to do leaving that. a gap on the outside of this and then trying to turn it and making it look no, as smooth as all the others you, you couldn't do it you'd never do it so what i've done instead is i've i've stitched that together so now what i'll be able to do once i've stitched it all up is i'll be able to remove the stitches down the center mm -hmm. and i'll turn it through a gap in the back it's oh, what i did here later. you can see the, the gaps you in the back see it. you can't see it all right so next thing i'm going to do is to lay my template on top and remember your template will be unique mm -hmm. you've designed it Good one to do it in freezer paper, actually, isn't it? Because then you That's can press it onto the fabric. That's a very, very good idea. Yeah. Why didn't I have you at home when I was making this? <laughs> Honestly, Vicky. Like a bit of freezer paper. Oh, I love freezer paper. It's the best. Now then, um, there isn't a seam allowance on your template. But that's absolutely fine because we don't need there to be a, 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 a seam allowance. I'm just pinning everything down. I want it to be quite nice and secure, so I'm pinning at every petal. <clears throat> and then what I'm gonna do is using a short stitch length, I'm actually gonna use a stitch length of about 1.5, okay. so a really short oh, yeah, stitch length. Yeah. And then I'm gonna use the edge of the paper as my guide, and I'm gonna stitch all the way around the outside. Okay, not and through the paper, not through around the edge, the, use that as a guide. Look into my eyes, look into my eyes, not around the eyes, not around <laughs> the eyes, into the eyes, you're under. <laughs> Don't sew through the paper, sew around the paper. <laughs> there you go, right then. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so I've got my stitch uh, ne centre needle position. I'm going to reduce my stitch length. I'm actually going to do 1.6. That will be fine. And then I'm going to sew all the way around. Now, why such a short stitch length? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to trim everything back mm -hmm. to within about an eighth of an inch of that stitch line. So really close. It's a bit of a scary seam allowance. Having a really short stitch length will help to keep those seams secure and mm -hmm. tight. It will also help me to achieve a much smoother curve. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, that's a good tip actually. I suppose because the stitch isn't travelling as far each stitch that it does, it's that's a lot right. easier to have that control. Yeah. That's a really good tip. You imagine trying to sew around curves with a stitch length of five, it yeah. would look like a 50 pence piece. Yeah, yeah, that's a really good point. I have never thought of that. No such thing as a curved stitch, you see, on a machine. Oh, Kerry's watching. Morning, Stuart, Vic and team. Loving oh, the Christmas May. She says, I might have I mentioned, I love Christmas. <laughs> Me too. Oh, gosh, these are gorgeous, oh, aren't they? Yeah. Um, those of you that are just tuning in, all of the fabrics have sold out. Has the panel sold out, Ben? Yeah, panel sold out. Complimenting fabrics are available. Get your silver mink, definitely. That's going to go beautifully. Um, the Rick Rack as well. We've got the different colour Rick Racks on the website. We've put through some beautiful, um, beautiful complimenting reds as well. There's different colour Rick Racks, Ben. I'm going to use cream on this one. Cream, cream, <coughs> cream. We've got cream and we've got green as well. <coughs> right, it's sorry, ivory. ivory. Sorry, we don't have cream. cream. Ivory, Did ivory. You? Our producer was pedantic then, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. That's our Ben. Yeah, it was sort of. I think this should be sharp enough. So what I'm going to do now is cut all the way around, okay? And as I say, I'm going to only Ooh. leave, look, about You're an eighth. You're going very close to your stitches. I am, I'm being... Living on the edge. I am, and I'm, and I'm sort of reminding myself just to rein myself in because um, I don't want to end up cutting through my stitching. Don't do it. That would be bad. <laughs> that would be really bad. Nice, um, good sharp pair of scissors going through nice all of those layers. Nice sharp pair of scissors, yeah, yeah. And don't try and rotary cut around. You're much better off with a pair of scissors to do this. Um, but when you use such a, a short stitch length, the seam allowance, the, the seam will be really tight and strong. And you shouldn't really need to clip into it either. Okay. I mean, you could clip into those innermost points, but because you've stitched, you've cut, so far, you know, so close. Should just stretch around. Oh, nice. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it. Fix. Told you you're rogue today. Not going to do it. That's Go that. rogue. Not doing it. Right, <laughs> need a little sharp pair of scissors. What we got here? They're hemostats. Oh dear, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> they are not sharp scissors. Ew, not scissors. They sound surgical. <laughs> they are surgical. They're for clumping veins. <laughs> oh, yeah. You need your glasses on, Stuart, if you think the humor stats were. Uh, right. There you go. <laughs> oh. Let me just let me see what I can do. I'll end up cutting straight through if I yeah, do don't that. Yeah, go through your stitches. And she lived a life like a candle Ooh. in the wind. They're lovely Elton glasses, aren't they? Where have they even come from? Why are they all scissors? Don't ask. They're don't lovely, ask. Though. A bit of rose tinted glasses today. Oh, goodness it's just me. what we need. <laughs> well, I'm very much like that with school dinners, I think, aren't I? Yes, and, you are. Um, Semolina and blue custard, oh. Stuart. <laughs> Fix is just making that up. I thought you said you had blue custard. No, red or yellow. Oh, sorry, not blue. Red or yellow. And occasionally, if we had chocolate concrete, we'd have chocolate custard. Oh, chocolate concrete, yes. Oh, just can't bring about beat memories. That. See, now we're talking. <clears throat> now, uh, you must be really young, because Jamie Oliver was not around doing school dinners when we were at school. No. I was oh. going to say, I feel like we're the same sort of age, and yet <coughs> I'm 32. But you see, I appreciated school dinners a lot more mm -hmm. when I was a teacher, because I think there's something rather special about being a 35-year-old man and eating turkey Twizzlers and oh, yeah. dinosaur potato yeah. for your lunch. I must say, I have started to bring back all of those 90s yeah, dinner things, thinking I've got amazing smiley faces and yeah, yeah turkey dinosaurs. Cowgirl hot pots. <laughs> all of the plans that. of making you know, all these lovely organic dinners. Yeah, organic doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't happen every day. Kale I'm not and sweet lie. potato. Yeah. And you're like, oh, just give her a pizza. <laughs> 
Smiley face, it didn't hurt me. <laughs> oh, I think we should be the judge of that, Vicky. <laughs> should we take a vote? Do we think smiley faces hurt me? Oh, don't. <laughs> ah, so what I'm doing now, Vix, is just running my finger all the way around the inside just to push out those petals and oh yes and those. it didn't need flipping <coughs> it in really the corners, didn't did it? i'm going to give it a little press for you yes Stuart. please i'm just going to make sure that that seam oh, yeah. allowance that i opened folded. out is folded in nice and flat so if you want to give that a good old press lovely give it a bit of steam as well if oh, you like go for it where's give my it steam oh there you go lovely do you want me to just press your seam just a little bit. just a little bit there you go yeah. Ooh, ah, just a little <laughs> bit. There we go. So, there we go, at its simplest, mm -hmm. turn through. And then you can just slip stitch the back up, okay? Now, I'm not going to do that because that would be pretty boring to watch me do that, so not doing it. Uh, a bit of rick rack though, would, would look lovely, wouldn't bit it? A bit of rick rack would be really nice. <clears throat> cream? It's not cream, it's oh, ivory. Ivory. <laughs> ivory. <laughs> <laughs> It's getting really annoyed in our ear that I keep getting it wrong. It's ivory rick rack on your screen. Hug. Two pound thirty. Uh, oh, he does. Uh, where's Alice today? She's at home. She's not in today. <clears throat> so what I did do with this one before I went any further was I quilted it okay. a little bit. Um, so would do you, you know, do that at I, this point? Well, I might just quilt a little bit actually because we've, well, got, we've got time. We've got time. Everything's gone. By the way, <coughs> if you want to make, we talked about this in the last hour. What a friction pen. And loads of you were there. There should be one in the pot. I would have said, yeah. Um, the bags for life book is available, which there are some really lovely. I'm thinking things like the cosmetic bags yeah. that are going to be great. As Christmas makes. Um, in terms of your book and making for craft fairs and things like that, do what's it. your angel policy? Yeah, please do it. So if you're, if you're getting a bit of a production line of Christmas makes of uh, lovely gift bags, tote bags, and th there's lots of projects in your bags for life, but which are going to be perfect for that. There are loads of you who bought this in the eight o'clock hour. Um, so just to remind you, it's just um, it's just fifteen ninety nine. Honestly, if you can make and sell and support your hobby, I absolutely support that. I think that's wonderful. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, I, there's lots that you're going to be able to do. I'm even thinking, you know, with the offcuts, make little cr Christmas scrunchies, Christmas hair Gorgeous, scrunchies. Yeah. They would look so lovely in the, uh, in, the, in the nice new fabric. Well, they certainly suit me, Vix. <laughs> should love that. <laughs> A Christmas scrunchie. You're one for a Christmas scrunchie, aren't I'd you? I'd probably have to do that, you know, like you do with babies, because they haven't actually got any hair. We have like a hairband with something yeah, on. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'd probably just use double-sided tape or something like that. You know that red, red liner tape. You could <laughs> crafters always have that, don't they? I'm money kidding. <clears throat> right. What I've done on this one. See, on this one, I was. You know, yeah, I'm using, going to say lazy using the fabric. use the fabric. <clears throat> Cross hatch, okay. perfect. On this one, I'm going in between each petal to divide it up into eight sort of segments. Yep, mark it out with a friction pen so yeah, you can iron it out. Yeah, exactly right, exactly right. Uh, no, you're <clears throat> not needing a walking foot I don't or think I'm you're going to right. use a walking foot. I think I'm going to just go for it, Vix. Uh, and, uh, have you changed any stitch? Are you back at one, are you on 1.6 still? I'm going to increase it. Okay. Don't you worry. So I'm just going to go forward and back, and then across we go. Yeah, I reckon it's a, a short enough run. Fingers crossed, day. Eh? We'll soon find out. And then forward and back. These will look so pretty on your, you know, if you've got a coffee table or a mantelpiece. I, I think like a nice little bowl of. Do you always have treats out at Christmas? Whether it be like your miniature hero celebrations, quality street kind of eyeball, nuts and fruity mix what's your sort of treats that you have out on the the no. coffee table no no yeah, treats no i do well no, do you know what actually i don't really i don't really because i wouldn't trust myself i'm I'd still just getting them through all. all of the quality street that i've got from christmas that's See, how many i'm not we a bought. sweetie person but it would oh. be like it'll, it would be salted nuts oh yes or um pringles or things like that i do mm -hmm. love stuff like that as well yes. so but yeah, I tend not to put things like that out because I don't trust myself. Um, 
I put things like carrot sticks and hummus out. Oh god. Organic kale smoothie. I need smoothie. to come to you for Christmas. You really don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, actually, I heard about you. Yeah, your Christmas dinner. <laughs> oh yeah. Ice cream scoop. One scoop or two. <laughs> I'm making it sound horrible, aren't I? <laughs> I'm just trying to put everyone off. <laughs> yeah, don't come this year. No, I have started going to other people's Christmas thing. We hosted one year and oh, it was you? so difficult. I don't think yeah. I sat down. So now I think, no, I'll just go to other people's houses. It's just, it's yeah. <clears throat> I find if you just turn up, yeah. usually people are too embarrassed to turn you away. And you just Oh, they can't oh. turn you down on Christmas Day. Exactly. No. It's Christmas. Um, you just stand outside singing. Um, like, yeah, exactly. Oh, Vicky Carol's oh, back. Yeah, oh. Mrs. Christmas Carol's <laughs> back. Do you want me to just get the friction pen? Yes, please. Not that you, you can't even see it. You've stitched right on the lines there, Stuart. <laughs> Done it before. Come on, a bit, a bit more around here. Okay. You can still see lines. <gasps> oh, my gosh. When I offered go right to be pressing assistant. You've got to go right up to the edge. I'm Very pernickety. Your yes. You're taking yes. after our bed. High standards, you see. <laughs> Right then, so I've done my bit of quilting, just really simple, and then what I'm going to do is put the rickrack on. Oh, morning, lovely. Thank you so much for a wonderful out, and congratulations on selling out on your gorgeous Christmas fabric. Oh, That's from Sharon. thank you. That was really kind, Sharon. Thank you. Genuinely, Sharon, I thought this was going to be an hour where I knew that it would be really, really popular, and I knew that it would sell out, but I didn't think it would sell out that quick with, you know... Uh, about 15 minutes into the hour we hadn't even got through it all before it got out uh, sold out because we had hundreds of each so um yes sharon i hope you managed to get some i hope everybody managed to get what they wanted no i hope so too but you know christmas has proved so popular we'll do it again next year we'll do it all again but you're already designing already done it your uh, next yeah, year's collection yeah 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 no spoilers no spoilers at all no no but um, I, I think tell you, you should do one called uh, like Christmas dinners, school dinners. School Christmas. dinners. School That's dinners. That's a fabulous idea. I love it. I love it. <clears throat> I'm not doing it. <laughs> right, right. Do you need to pin this in place at all, or are you winging it? I'm not going to, Vicky. I'm not going to. I'm going to. I'm going to reduce my stitch length a bit to two, so that I've got a little bit of kind of. Um, insurance if you like you've re-threaded and put white thread I, in. I, I have i've put a cream creamy white thread in and what i'm going to do because i mean at the end of the day this is christmas you know everyone's going to have had a couple of sherries so no one will notice if it's a bit wobbly it's not going into a competition okay. no exactly exactly although some people get very competitive at christmas don't they with the Christmas decorations and the lights. Board games. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, you see, my family are not game players. Okay. Unfortunately, really, because I love, oh, I mean, I love a bit of charades or, you know, can't bear Monopoly. Uh, well, you might like, I actually played it last night, it's called Monopoly Deal, which is a 15-minute card game. The aim of the game is to still bankrupt all your family. Nice. But, um, like the, the board game, but it doesn't take three or four hours to do it in Monopoly. Yeah, like yeah. the board game, it's just a quick card game. It's really good. You see... Oh, a few people, just so you know, sorry, Stuart, um, have juggled a few things around. Look at the website. Look at the website. You might be able to get something, or some of the fabrics off the website. What we'll do is run the graphics so you can grab the uh, the panel. Grab it now if you want the uh, cross-stitch panel. It's absolutely fine. People might have thought, you know, oh, I want this, I want this, and then they've, they've changed their mind on some of them. Absolutely fine. Just grab what you can now. You can see now oh, that looks the rip rack's going on absolutely yeah. fine. Can you see? It's going on absolutely fine. That adds a lovely detail. Just take your time. Just take your time. It's like icing a cake. You've got to concentrate. Are you good at icing cakes? No, I'm rubbish. A lot of people who are um, crafty also are very good at cake decorating. Yes, aren't that's they? true. That's Baking. true. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not bad at making the cake. Okay. But I'm, I've never been a sort of, you know, like fancy display on a plate or anything like that i mean i remember one of the very first sort of dates that i ever well when i visited charlie at his house and he made me beans on toast right which was gorgeous but what he did was he used like a circular um cutter okay. and cut the toast into rounds and did about six of them and created like this tower with beans drizzled around the outside oh, that's fancy. and i thought 
He's the one. <laughs> He's the one. That was it. Well, you're you bringing know. your friend um, in to see us, aren't you? From Canada. Oh, this is so exciting. She's great at baking as she well. Is. She's, She's going to bake some brownies she, for us. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, Rose Parr. She's going to be. Rose. She's going to be at Festival of Quilts. Um, every day but she's also going to be coming here she's going to be guesting with me brilliant um, and she, because she's done a fabulous book called healthy quilting and it is oh, all so about there's no brownies in there then there's no no, no, no. there's no recipes there's no recipes but what it is about is about how to sew and quilt and craft um, without pain, you know, without things like repetitive strain injuries okay. and shoulder ache and neck ache. So some really good, oh. like how to set up your ironing board and your machine and stretches, exercises. So oh, it'll be a very I practical that. hour, I think. Oh, you're gonna do some. You're gonna I'll be wearing light crap. Yeah, good. That's a, that's a reason to tune in. Anyway, I'll wear then, a unitard. <laughs> Because um, they always fit, don't they? They always fit. <laughs> they always fit very well, yes. And then it's also the book is full of tips from world-renowned quilters and makers. Are you in there? I am. I'm actually on the front cover. Are you? But it's not me. It's like a computer-generated me. Oh, gosh, this sounds brilliant. Honestly, doing a little... Like this, stretch. It's so cute. Have uh, we got the book on the show, do you know? Oh, yeah, we're selling the book. Brilliant. You've got to watch. When's that, sorry? It's the 17th. It's Wednesday, the 17th of August. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. With right, Ben's. so I finished sewing that Rick Rack on. So I like to sew in the real world, you know, mm -hmm. to show you real that time. Doesn't real take time, long. it doesn't take long, it's not difficult. Really pretty results. I know it's cute, isn't it? Ideal. I love it. I'm happy with that. Absolutely love it. See, I'm an absolute lover of the Yankee Candle. Mm. What's that, All sorry? Yankee Candles. Oh, yeah. I thought Always you bought Telly Safe ones on You know, today. the jar oh, Yankee yeah, Candles. Oh, yeah. They smell gorgeous, don't home they? Home Sweet Home. The, is that your favourite one? It's, you know, basically a backdrop to my life. They do Christmas cookies as well, which is a lovely one. No, I don't like the ones that are baking. Oh, OK. No, don't Too really sweet. like the fruit or the, I like the spicy, the warm, mm. the kind of aftershavey ones. Oh, nice. Cosy Log Cabin. Oh, OK. We've got to all remember these. Stuart Secret Santa. Um, <laughs> oh, yes, please. <laughs> they are gorgeous. Thank you for that one. Well, it's a pleasure. And, you know, like I say, don't be afraid of using Rick Rack. It's really easy to apply. You saw I didn't pin it I didn't stick it in place I just maneuvered it as I was sewing mm -hmm. and um, honestly it's ever so easy just straight line it's not even going right through the center everywhere but it wouldn't matter even if it did here we go lovely collection Stuart I'm 88 today oh. and still quilting crafting and learning you're an inspiration oh. Marie, Marie you're an inspiration, you're an inspiration. you yeah. are Happy birthday. Well done. I mean, that's amazing. Thank you so much for your message, Marie. Um, and yeah, I hope everybody managed to get what they want to say. Everything has now officially sold out. What are we going to do? Are we going to a break or are we... Um, we're ready. What we might do is, yeah, because we're all, we're kind of, we're kind of done, aren't we? We yeah. might start Sally Ann's show and then bring, well, we might have to bring you back early a, a, a bit later, if that's okay for the motor quilt. Keep me posted. Because that's me posted. also going to be a sellout. It's going to be amazing. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, you, I know you're good friends with Sally Ann, aren't you? And Very the much. quilt that she has. Bear with Super me one second. I'm going to uh, wheel it in. Yeah. Because, oh, thank you, Glamorous Assistant. The minute I saw this online, I was like, Sally Ann, you da, genius. Da, 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 da. You genius. It is gorgeous. See, it looks amazing on social media. It looks even better in real life, doesn't it? It looks absolutely stunning. Yeah. Have we got stock warning on this already, did you say? The pattern on its own has nearly sold out. We've got a Liberty option and we've also got our very own panel that has been designed especially for it. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yes. Can I just run off for a second and come back? Yeah. Because I want to just show you what's coming up. Uh, yeah. In... Oh, yeah. Our Moda quilt. Yeah. Go grab it. Look, they come off as well. They're removable. It's amazing. Um, also, with Stuart, <gasps> this, do you know what? Similar sort of colour palettes, they're yeah, yeah. really feminine and yeah. beautiful. Look at this beautiful. for a <gasps> So this, now this is Love just this. nine blocks. 
but the actual quilt is 20 blocks it's four by five i think oh, <coughs> wow. brand new from moda it is so pretty an absolute joy to piece isn't that gorgeous oh my word now this kit is coming up at 11 o'clock i'm going to be showing you how to make the block this is the full quilt wow. isn't that magnificent huge huge i don't know what it is at the moment vicky but i'm into really like soft gentle romantic fabrics oh, at the, which isn't really romantic. me <laughs> I'm probably going broody, aren't I? I'll be sitting on eggs soon. But honestly, and I'm just loving that kind of shabby chic, romantic yeah, that country gorgeous. cottage. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, coming up at 11 o'clock. Do get ahead on pre-order if you'd like. That's going to be another sellout. Uh, speaking of which, Sally Ann's here. I've not seen her for months and months and months. So I'm really excited uh, to launch her brand new pattern. Coming up, well, thank you so much, Stuart, for the Christmas show. It was Absolute amazing. Absolute pleasure. Thank See you, you everyone hour. who supported that too. Yeah, well done, everyone who got it. Stay where you are. Sally Ann's coming up right after this. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewn Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting and of course applique which is my favourite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. Hi, it's Yvonne here. As you all know, I was born in Carrick, Fergus in Northern Ireland. And we're getting to that point in the year whenever I get to go home. From the 1st of September, the Stormont Hotel in Belfast becomes the home of Quilt Fair, which is an event that together with my friends, Margaret and Helm, we have reintroduced into the, North, into the island of Ireland. We are really looking forward to this, our second event. We have retained many of the features that you like from last year's show. We have those nice wide aisles. We have all those expert traders and our free talks and demos in our schoolhouse. In addition, this year, we have added our creative workshops, which Sewing Street have so generously sponsored for us. So this year we have added in two exhibitions. One of them, Old Roots, New Shoots, is from the Irish Patchwork Society. And the other exhibition is the work from our traders. It's, it's entitled, This Is What We Do. So I really hope that I will see a lot of you there. We thank everyone for their continuing support in this venture that we have to create the best little quilt show in Ireland. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. 
And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Oh, I'm so excited for this hour. Honestly, the quilt that you are going to see this hour is one of the most pretty beautiful quilts that I've ever had the chance to present. I love it, absolutely adore it. Um, just because these are gonna sell out any second now, um, we're gonna bring the instructions in straight away. I've got a feeling this is gonna be a repeat of the last hour where we're gonna have sellouts way before the end of the hour. Um, there's already loads of you who have got them, well done. Uh, and uh, what's fantastic about this is that you are getting uh, something a bit different this time, actually. Don't be scared about this, because we'll explain how easy this is. But not only have you got your step-by-step -step instructions, as always, with Sally Ann Harrison, you always get fantastic, thorough instructions. Look at how pretty they are as well. The ones that you're going to be able to get out time and time again and remember how to do this really, really cool folding technique to make the dresses but what I love about it is look Sally Ann is moving with the times we've got a QR code in here so you've got a QR code which also takes you straight to a YouTube tutorial to show you how you fold the dresses to create the look which I'll show you in a second so you've got two QR codes in there it's so easy to do all you literally do is hover your phone I should have brought my phone out to show you um, do you want me to this is the, the one without the, with oh. the QR code covered. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. So, if you hover your phone literally over the top of your QR code when you get it home, we're not going to reveal it today. And there is a reason. I'm going to be quite frank with you. You need to buy your pattern to get that. <laughs> you can't just get it. You've got to buy the pattern. So, yes, yeah, support Sally and Harrison because it is the most beautiful, beautiful pattern. Now, the only way of getting these is going to be in the bundles literally any second now. There are how many in baskets, Ben? 37 in baskets. And how many left? Three. Three patterns left on their own. We've got two bundles which are perfect for this project though, so don't panic. Oh, we've got a weird three for two on screen. Sorry, don't know where that's come from. I think it's our sister show, take it over. <laughs> um, 
Can we do the Liberty first, please? Because, oh, Sally Ann, firstly, I feel like it's been forever since it has, I've it's seen been you. Absolutely ages. I haven't seen you in this off in this studio. Actually. This is only my third time here. So, so. when was the last time you were on air? May. Oh, so lovely to have you back. Yeah. Yeah. It's lovely to be back. How are you? Good, really good. Have a great time in America. Yeah, I had about a month in America, and then we had some illness issues, and but now I'm back. Oh, brilliant! And this quilt is ah. absolutely stunning. Yep. We all love it. Or we're losing one here. Hang on, let's put him back in position. They are absolutely beautiful, aren't yep. they? So um, you've done this with the Liberty fabric. I think it is perfect. Yes. It's, it's the perfect thing, isn't it? It's every girl's dream, isn't it? The Liberty dress, war full wardrobe and Liberty dresses. Um, and you're getting a full fat quarter pack in the kit. So to make that huge quilt, all that you need, I mean, for less than 50 pounds, I think that's amazing. Because not only are you getting five fat quarters, you're also getting, this isn't just a solid, this is your Liberty meter and a half. So your background is also Liberty. It's beautiful, isn't it? I really, so really love that white on white. It's absolutely perfect do i have enough in my fat quarters to be able to bind it no so you will need you to need actually your binding, binding. Yeah. okay um, so your fat quarters is for all of your lovely borders and your dresses yes yeah. oh i say borders sort of sashing that's framing your 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 um your blocks um 49.99 and of course you get the all important pattern with those QR codes with your step by step instructions as well for 49.99 and because obviously they are Sally Ann Harrison you are going to get thorough instruction lots of help everybody I know that we have lots of lovely messages good morning says Carol morning. Becky says loving the quilt Sally Ann is this Becky Alexander it oh, is hi Becky <laughs> it's lovely, Papa. Um, so, bearing in mind this is the Liberty option, I thought this was going to be, you know, close to £100. Liberty? You know how much you pay for Liberty in the store. This is official Liberty print. And the fabrics, let me just dive in and, uh, and just indulge a little bit because how pretty are these going to be for those gorgeous dresses? And it's up to you uh, of how much embellishment you want to do. If you want to put lace on there, if you want to put pearls, little flowers, ribbon, buttons, so much that you can personalise with. Um, Becky said, the quilt behind you reminds me of a book I used to have as a child uh, of a doll where the page you used to dress her up with different dresses and clothes, the clothes were detachable. It is, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it it's totally that, isn't it? I love it. Mm. And I mean, once you've got that pattern and that folding technique, you can then incorporate these onto so many different projects. Yes, exactly. It's very versatile. You could use cushions, you know, little I've seen someone this morning who's just done three in a slimline wall hanging. It looks gorgeous. Oh, and I know that you put it on a lampshade. Yeah, I think that was I your original shade, sort of yeah. design, wasn't it? Yeah. We'll, we'll bring that on, actually, to show you in a second. But look at all of these gorgeous Liberty prints that you're going to get included for £49.99. Um, those of you that have got them in your baskets, be aware that over half the stock has now sold out more in baskets than we have availability. That is your Liberty option. So we have the Liberty option. It comes with your instructions. And then we also have here, our team have designed the most perfect, you must be so happy with this. Yeah, oh, it's so it's so good of them to do this. Um, instructions now sold out on their own. The only way of getting them is in the panel. Now, are you ready? Because this is really special. Bearing in mind, it's less than 40 pounds. You get your instructions, the only way of getting it. You also get a meter and a half of your background fabric, which I think, don't, don't shout at me, Ben. Is it ivory, is it cream? It's your solid, your solid neutral colour. Then, this panel is just amazing. Oh, let me spin it round, let me spin it round so it's the right way around. Uh, right, so talk me through, Sally Ann, because you've got here a mixture of squares and stripes. Okay, so the squares are meant to imitate sort of vintage hankies. <gasps> oh! Now, um, the reason why the panel is so special is because when I first started playing around with these, I mean, um, there are dress dresses out there that are made with vintage hankies and I got some and I ordered them etc but they're too big okay okay so vintage hankies generally come in at around 11 12 inches they are too big so the team at Sewing Street size the hankies on that panel so that they are 
perfect fit for my pattern and give you a perfect proportion dress. So for example, the poodles, <laughs> look at this at the bottom, yeah. oh, I love that. So these are all gonna be making dresses. Look at the poodles, the poodles, that vintage hanky um, is gonna be absolutely perfect. The way that it folds, that one? yeah. You've got the overhead camera okay. there. If you just show that there, then that'll be perfect, Sally Ann. There you go. So, so that is the poodles, see? So literally, it couldn't be more perfect. So okay. you've got the poodles, you've got the little windmills, you've got the florals, you've got the roses, you've got the butterflies. I'd be buying this kit, even if you want to use it for something else as yeah. well. Get another one, get an extra one at that price point to be able to get all of those fabrics. It's only, you know, sort of exclusively to us. Uh, and we've designed it especially for this project. And then the strips, Sally Ann, are these four are... Perfectly frames. proportioned strips for the for the frames. Yeah, all different colours. Um, all coordinating. Yeah, all coordinating. Gosh, that is so clever, isn't it? And you've got m more than you need there. Plenty more. Wow, brilliant. Yeah. Uh, Thirty nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Remember, you get a metre and a half of your background fabric. You get your instructions, and you get your really really special panel, which and then we the love. brown is for the for the hangers. Oh, so you've got that. See, I saw this, we've cut some fat quarters. It's already on your panel. So don't yeah. worry, if you've got the Liberty bundle, we can offer you a fat quarter. But look, it isn't just a solid brown either. No. Look at what they've done. <laughs> oh, sewing machines, it's scissors, so clever. patterns. Oh my word. And when you cut your ha hanger, because they're so tiny, it looks, it makes it look a little bit 3D. You'll see in a minute when I've, because I've got a few cut out. Oh, brilliant, brilliant, absolutely So perfect. much thought went into that. Oh, you can tell the detail is stunning, absolutely stunning. Um, okay, those of you that want this bundle, don't wait to the end of the check to the hour to check out. This is going to absolutely fly out. There's loads of you who are. I don't know whether which is the most popular, Liberty or the panel. Both, both neck and neck, both so so popular. Um, grab what you can. Grab what you can. Now. The only way of getting that panel is in the bundle. A lot of people asking about it on, it on its own. We can't do it. Only way is in the um, in the the kit. Grab them whilst you can. All of your instructions are there. Anything else that Sally Ann uses, we'll go through as we um, as we go through the demo, if that's okay. Right, are we ready? I'm coming over to you because <laughs> this is so exciting. Ooh, we haven't been able to get this oh, close no! before. <laughs> so nice. Um, where are we starting then, Sally Ann? Okay, so should we start? Um, this is just this is the panel. Um, mm -hmm. One thing I would say is is cutting it up. It, the easy don't do what I did. I don't know if it's still there. No, it's not. Is cut your strips this way rather than cutting them individually. That's my top tip for using the panel. Right. Yeah. Um, and obviously, you can just as you can see, I, you can just cut out your perfectly sized handkerchiefs. Okay. Oh, and they're lovely, aren't they? They're such beautiful yeah, prints. This one's my favourite. I didn't use that one, but it's my favourite. And then once you've got the pattern, this would be a really, really lovely memory quilt for somebody, actually, wouldn't it? Yes. You could do it with clothes. You could do it. Oh, there's so many. It's so pretty. Some of your favourite fabrics that you just can't part with. Yes. It's a good way to sort of display them, isn't it? It is, yeah, absolutely. Right, so I'm going to start off. Have you got the, the other copy? Absolutely. Yeah. The Which one did, I, did you give me? Right, so this one. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly skip through the pattern. So it gives you, at the beginning, it gives you all the extras that you need. And it also tells you that it links, that the QR codes link to two 10 minute videos, which you will need to access. So there are... You don't need any fancy app to do that, do you? No. I think we've all got a bit used to this now over the last couple of years of yeah. how they work. I think a couple of years ago that would have potentially scared me a bit, but all you do is hover your phone camera yes. over it. And I deliberate, need a camera phone. deliberately did it that way so that you could just hover your phone over it and it's only 10 minutes, which means that you can stop and pause and stop and rewind and stop and pause um, instead of going through lots of labor laborious instructions. And the stages as well in the video relate to the stages that I've actually done still shots of in the pattern. So you just sort of follow it through. And I actually say in the video things like this is stage five, this is stage six, and it all links up. Okay. Okay. Um, and then there's a template in the back. Oh, for your hanger. For your hanger and a couple of pictures around the doing a lampshade. Oh, have we got the lampshade Becky around? Oh.
Do you know in the morning when you set off, you know your sat nav, when it's dark, it goes with dark screened and when it's bright, it goes light screen. This morning was the first morning it was on night vision when I left night vision when I left the house this morning. That's a bit depressing, isn't it? There were so many little reindeers out today as well. The car in front of me nearly hit one and I nearly hit the car in front of me, but that's by the by. Shall we start with today's element? Tweet, tweet, there it is now. Um, I don't know who's in charge of early birds, but on no account are you allowed to reduce orophils. 33.99 is where they should be. 33.99. Yeah, poor old Hannah, right? I must just tell you, right? So we were in our prep meeting at half past seven. Actually, let's crash the price. Let's crash the price and I'll tell you the story, right? This is the early bird, early bird, early bird, right? This is where we bring you something that sells perfectly well at 33.99 and we do this to it. Oh my word. Oh, 29.99 for Aurifil thread. Aurifil thread, right. Yeah, 29 uh, Now, I need to warn you, Hannah, is it? she walked through the door like this this morning, right? And she's been a bit like that ever since, right? So we're in our prep meeting. So we, what we do is we do all our prep, and then at half past seven, we have like a little production meeting. And she said, right now, Charlie, I need the slide for this. And I was like, no, no, you don't need the slide for that. Why? And she went, yes, John, yes, it finishes on the 14th. We have to show it to, we have to, on the, and I said, yeah, but Hannah, it's not, it's the 14th. I'm right. Anyway, I said, Charlie, Charlie, what date is it today? And he went, the 11th, John, or whatever date, 12th, 12th, right? And I said, so it's not the 14th of John. Hannah went, it's Saturday morning. I said, well, even Saturday's not the 14th either, but it's the, it's Friday the 12th today. And she was like, Oh, that's why I couldn't find that fabric that I thought I'd scheduled. So she's a bit confused. Anyway, in here, these are 10 colours, 50 weight fabrics. Beautiful autumnal colours these are. Oh, I can't have to show them like this, don't I? Love, oh, you are quick. Lovely, 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 gorgeous colours, look. Beautiful, beautiful colours. Have you got that, Becky? Have you got all those? Look at all of those. 10 for 29.99 makes them 2.99 each, doesn't it? I know, Aurifil threads, 50 weight, 200 meters on each. Uh, oh, hang on, uh, Susan says good morning. Sue says morning, another wonderful day. Stay cool. Another Susan says hello. That's three Susans in a row. Good morning, gorgeous John, all at Saint Street. I'm off to face paint in my local park. Oh, blimey. Half a gallon of water. Now, are you allowed to do that or are you just going to do it? That's from Kat. Uh, then we've got uh, another Susan. Good morning, everyone. Going to be a hot one again, so staying indoors. Shilla Shah. Good morning. I love your shirt. Laurie says, morning, John. Love your shirt. Stay cool today. Attractor says, hello. Pam Minihani says, good morning, lovely. Anyway, 29 99 for 10 Aurifils. Oh, no, it's fantastic, isn't it? We're not allowed to reduce the price on Aurifil. Message on my bottom. Morning, John. Lovely cotton. Liz. Thank you, Liz. Now, weren't you doing something special today, Liz? Wasn't she messaging yesterday? She was doing something special to say. Anyway, I don't know. It's Friday, Hannah. It's Friday. June says, morning, John. I'm melting. Oh, you, um, that's, uh, what's her name? Not Galinda. What's the green one called? Elphaba. She melts, doesn't she? Throw a bucket of water on her. Morning, John. Why did I think you were in Catalonia? It wasn't that, what's her name? Um, it's a real thing. Catatonia. What, who, who sings that? Oh, hang on, I've read the wrong place. Catalonia. Oh, I'm getting confused now. It's very confused today. Claire says, good morning, John. All super shirt. Thank you. More X's morning from sunny Dumfries. Morning. 29 99 Make sure you buy these. I've got loads going on today. Loads and loads and loads going on today. Right, okay, now, that was the early bird. I've got some fat quarters to show you here. Now, we're not meant to have these. I don't know why they've appeared, but we're doing them. We're doing them. Anyway, it's one of those days. I'll leave that. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Right, these fat quarters are fantastic. Uh, which one first, Han? Two. The two. These are Christmas fabrics. Oh, we're not allowed to do anything Christmas today, so we're doing Christmas fat quarters. It's one, because it's Saturday. In Hannah's head, everyone. No, don't worry, I haven't woken up on Saturday morning and think I've missed Friday. £7.49 for two fat quarters. Poppy cotton. I know, that makes it, what, three fifty, three something each. Oh, thought I, uh, Viv thought I was on my holidays. No, Viv, I don't go on holidays till September. For, for both. 
For both, yet four ninety nine. At four pounds and ninety nine pence, you get each of these. Marie says, "Morning, John. Very hot in Islington. I've decided to stay at home in my own garden in the shade. Too dangerous for old. For old, better be safe." Oh, Marie. Uh, Jill says, "Good morning, John. I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really good today." Oh, Jill, that's nice. Nice positive start today. Shelley, morning, John. From a very warm Grimsby, aircon in here. Oh, I bet the fish are smelling today, aren't they? In Grimsby. We have a boy who sells Grimsby fish at our local garden centre. I think the ladies just go to flirt with him rather than buy the fish. Anyway, four ninety nine. A fat quarter, of course. Here you go. So what you do is you take a metre of fabric, you cut it in half, and cut it in half again. That'll give you a fat quarter. There you go. At four ninety nine for two of these. I told we got lots today, didn't I? Right, moving on. Quarter of the stock's gone. Right. Right, the one with the red spots. Yeah, six fat quarters. Six fat quarters here. This one does not crash, but wait till you see the price, right? So you get red dot, plain red, white. You get beige, you get bright green, and you get misty blue. That's misty blue, that one just seen her. Six fat quarters. Oh, now look, she's put in the pound turn time, so that certainly means it's going to be a shocking price now. Red, plain, and spots. We get one spot, fat quarter. Look, six fat quarters, 10.99. It's not even two pounds a fat quarter. One pound, 83 a fat quarter, that is. At 10.99. Now, uh, Hannah's saying it's on a Christmas theme. Well, it's only Christmas Eve because you've got the red and the green and the white. It could be any time of year, that, couldn't it? Oh, the picture on the web is very misleading, apparently. Uh, Shelley says, we don't get much fish in Grimsby now. Well, no, we have, we sell fresh, fr fr well, no, we don't. They sell fresh Grimsby fish at our garden centre. 10.99, that's what you're getting. Julie says, morning, John. When will the doggy competition be announced? 14th! 14th! We think it's, the, is it the 14th when it's being announced? No, that's the closing date. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll look at the, Charlie, look at the slide for me and just tell me what day it'll be announced. It's one for a while yet, though. Uh, Coast says, morning, John. Work this morning, then optician's appointment this afternoon. Contact lens. Oh, hang on. Contact lens checkup. The what? Third, the stock of that bundle's gone. Right, okay, very quickly. I've got another bundle now. Right, so in this one, you get orange, you get red, you get... It's either paprika or hot tomato, that one. Then you get the bright green, the lime, the raspberry, uh, the imperial purple. You get the lovely mint. Right, this has only ever been in the kit before. Look at the price, look at the price, look at the price. Nine, pa nine fat quarters for $16.99. And Wednesday, but, oh, we, we got an email that told us what day it was being announced, didn't we? Yeah, we'll look it up for you in a second. $16.99. 188 fat quarter this. 100% cotton, quilting weight. It's our core fabric from Rose and Hubble. Beautiful. Keep going through for that. Lots of you there. Have I missed today's menu? No, not, cheap. not yet, June. Not yet. We'll do that in a minute. Sue says, morning, John and team. Morning. Lots of Sue's coming in today, aren't there? Loads of you in for this. Loads of you coming in for this one. Beautiful. Loads of you in for this. Make sure you check out. 188 fat quarter, that is. I know, it's fantastic. 100% cotton. Quilting weight. Yes. 20th. 26th. 20, it's lovely, Kinga. Uh, 26th of August is the day we'll be announcing the winner of the dog thing, competition. You don't win a dog. We can arrange it if you like, though. 16.99. I know where there's a, a sausage dog going for available. 16.99. Right, I'm going to move on. going to move on. Very quickly, I'm just going to mention this. My book is back in stock. You do get a signed photo. People checking out on that already. Twelve ninety nine. See, that's an orange one today. At twelve ninety nine, 
£12.99 is my book. John's got threads of life. It's got sewing tips. It's got mantras for life. It's got recipes. And it's got the story of my life in little snippets. 12 99 Right, I've got to go on. got to go on because we've got so much today. Would you like to have a look at today's menu? Here it is. Today's menu. Come on, Charlie. Welcoming. Now, her name's not Santangle. It's Sandra Tangle, I think her name is. With bag making kits. Oh, Sandra Rushton. Oh, that's a bit disappointing. I thought it was Sandra Tangle. <laughs> anyway, nine. Oh, and in that hour, we're making these, Charlie, aren't we? I say we. There's the one, two, three different kits there. And there they are all together. That's what we're making it this hour now, right away, now, 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 now. Then at nine o'clock, we're doing a bar yellow box pack and a disappearing nine patch tote bag with Catherine Wright. Here they are. There's the disappearing nine patch on against the wall. And there's the bar in the studio. Then, where, as I told you tonight, 10 o'clock, got sewing room tools. And believe me, that hour is packed. Then at 11 o'clock, we're doing Helen Newton's Isabel, and we're doing the Olivia applique cushion. Catherine Wright's making them. There they are. Beautiful, aren't they? Oh, we're on a quick glimpse there. And then at 12 o'clock, we've got kits you will love. There are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is by email. Studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. Second way is by uh, Facebook Live, which ones I've been shouting out. Carol says, good morning. Your book is brilliant. Thank you, Carol. You're very kind. Beck says, morning all, beautiful day. I'm just off to drop my beautiful cat Jack, Jack to the vets. Oh dear, good luck. Margaret says, morning John, Hannah and team. Aircon already on, gorgeous colourful fabrics this morning. And Shelley says, the book is amazing, I could not put it down. Thank you very much indeed. The third way is by the website, www.sangstreet.com. Hello, click on watch the show live. That's you, Han. Then you'll see the white box on the right hand side there. You can write your message there and they're the ones that come up on my bottom later on. Hello. I'm, she's, she spelled her name wrong. That's how confused she is. Right, scroll down the page. You will see everything for today. There is the early bird. They are things we've shown you already. However, if you now go to pre-order, you will see everything for the next five hours. So. There's a lot of pre-cuts, right? Go, 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 go. Oh, some sold out already. Uh, now, hang on, let's see what else is it. Oh, another one sold out. Uh, more pre-cuts. Oh, there, no, Santangle, there we go. That's the kit to make the orange and pink bag. There's, a, there's the other two, the blue one. That's what we're gonna be doing now. That's what we're gonna be doing now. Okay, uh, and then we move on to the bags. Uh, uh, there's the bundle of the two instructions available. All the bundles there. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Uh, to carry on then, bundles there, fabrics there, beautiful. Panels, if you just want to buy the panels on their own. Then we've got others. No, you don't mean other Catherine patterns are available there and there as well. There's our apron, yeah, carry on. Right, so then we get the tools hour. Now, I told you there was a bit of everything in here, didn't I? Look. Everything. Oh, both of both the threads are on there. Look, that's weird. They've only sent one up, but they're both there. A chalk. Look, scissor. Oh, oh. What? No, no, I'm talking about those craft bags. See the craft bags. Now Zena's bought two of those already because they're from Jewelry Maker. Anyway, look what else is on that row. Moving on. There's only four of them. <laughs> then keep going. There's the cushions. There's the cushions. Then this is kit you love. This is 12 o'clock. It's a big hour, that one as well. Oh, look, there's a bit of Jenny Jackson there. What's that on the right there? That's nice. Julie Walters, does it say? Oh, Jolly Wales. I thought it said Julie Walters. Was any little on my screen? It'd be nice if it was Julie Walters. I love her. Anyway, look, that's kids you love. I'm stopping looking at all those now. Everything is... So if, you, if you've got to go out later, or if you want to go out later, and you want, go through pre-order now, click on it, check out, and then it's yours, it's bought, and everything like that. Oh, sorry, sorry, I cut off too quickly. I cut off too quickly. Right at the very bottom are the Juki machines. There they all are, the Juki machines from yesterday. Yeah, if you go to Juki on the website, you won't find them. So there was that industrial machine, not the industrial machine, the, the very fast... Thre there was that... Blind hammer, and there were the new scissors. Now, the new scissors are about half the price of the old ones. I don't know how that's happened. Anyway, would you like to meet our new guest? 
Sandra, you're loud to your narrow already. <laughs> now, I Good thought morning. you were called Sandra Tangle. That, that's the brand name, Sand Tangle. Name okay, Sandra then. Rush. So it's Tangle A. Are you going to show us how to tangle yeah, today? Yeah, yeah. Tangle is a form of art, and it's you know a doodle, posh doodling. Yeah, really. Yeah. If you can make a mark and you can draw a swirl or a little bubble, then and that's you, a real world, that, is it? Tangle. Absolutely, yeah. You and can. And you're Sandra tangle. from Tangle. Who yeah, tangles? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Sand tangle. Got it now. <laughs> we got that. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you. Yeah. This is this is tangling on here. Hang a look. Look. I'll show you the back of this bag here. Look. Isn't it gorgeous. Look. You're very close there. Let me go. Can you go a bit further away? Beautiful, keep going, keep going. Look, isn't it lovely? Now you're, we've got the kits to make these bags. And it's easy to do, we're gonna show you now. It's easy to do, it's easy to do. So before we chat, yeah, let, yeah. Me, introduce, let me introduce the bundles, then we can get on with it and chat and everything like that. Blue first. So what you get in your bundle is their lovely kits look. So you get your instructions, right? You get your templates. Then you also get your buttons, you get your, um, template you get your pen your special pen and what's that little square there that's my little label oh you got out yeah a branded facing label the wrong way it. you should turn it round <laughs> plus you get your two oh. half meters of fabric there as well 39.99 here we go mesh across the bottom morning john and sandra two morning. of my favorite craft people on a friday morning good start oh. to the weekend from chris in greater manchester that's a boy chris a boy the boy he's a natural healing you know anyway so that's your blue one that's your blue one. that came nice to my shirt that one wouldn't it that's your blue one i've got you know when you've got a sneeze just waiting right which color would you like to do next oh orange is very very popular on pre-order again oh i can show you the label this time so you get the instructions the uh the template you get your uh the other template your what would you call that it's a stencil a stencil that's yeah. it a stencil <laughs> pen buttons and your label which does look like one of those where you get pepper on the aeroplane doesn't it, it looks a bit like you know a little, so, yeah, little pepper sachet <laughs> from the aeroplane 39.99 oh and oh and 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 you get your two fabrics as well gorgeous aren't they and then we also have the red and silver mink one so again instructions templates Stencil. That's a new word. We don't we don't use stencil that word here, no, very no, so no. take a while. Taught you something already. Pen, back to front label, buttons, red fabric, and silver mink fabric. $39.99. The orange one is way in the lead. This that's this one here. The orange one is way in the lead. This is what they make. So that's the orange one there with the lovely pink lining look. Then we've got the red one with the silver mink. And then we have the blue one with the blue lining. Beautiful. Right. So before we start, who are you? Where do you come from? What are you looking for today? Who am I? Um, I'm an ex-school teacher. Oh, so am I. Uh, you really, I used to teach woodwork and metalwork. Oh, um, no, I didn't do but that. No, no, no. But artwork, art has always been my passion. And I left teaching and thought, what am I going to do? Do sell my art. And of course, you, as an unknown artist, that's really tricky to of do. Course it is, yeah. So going back to my roots, I actually teach other people to actually create artwork. Okay. I'm so that's where it. stencils and things like that come into it. But of course, we we work, I suppose, primarily in paper craft. Yeah. But as you see, all the samples there. Well, yeah, yeah. Because we look, I've we just got a few samples here. Things. We haven't got these for sale today, but these are just some of the. This um, is what you can actually do with it. Some samples that you've got, um, you can do with it. Look, there you go. So this is all done with stencils and doodling stencils and drawing Stencils and, and doodling, yeah. It's all by hand. Yeah. So, yeah, we use a stencil. Oh, another bag? Why haven't we yeah, got this bag? Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that one. That's uh, the feather stencil that my, my friend Leslie there has actually made into a bag. So she's made the bag as well. Oh, this and is it Leslie's just, bag, is it? It then? just yeah. shows everything. That you, you don't have to do it on paper. You can do it on fabric. We do it on wood. Um, you can draw my shoes. Anything and everything, really. And it, it, oh, Leslie made this one as well. It, she, she is pretty good. Leslie at that, Evans. Yeah. Well there done, Leslie is. Evans. How do I know that? Because it's written on the back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love a dream catcher. Absolutely. So, so all, these are all these. This is all tang tangled. All tangled, yeah. And, of course, and, the, and the nice thing about it is, every time you, you create these, you'll create it different. So okay. you don't get a, a shape that you draw around and then tangle into. You get the shapes that you have to put it together to then create something. How brilliant, there's that feather one again. So you're actually drawing for yourself, you're not, uh, you're not just following my outline, you're yeah, creating yeah. Oh, your Oh, see, so you're creating, you, you, you use you as inspiration. Exactly, Or as yeah. the base, and then from and then there you create your own, your own yeah, things. Yeah. Oh, look at this one. 
yeah. Another bag. Another bag. Yeah, yeah. We we quite like our bags. They're useful. I think. So that's so what, what you do is you've drawn on this, and then this one's got machine embroidery yeah, on yeah. it. That one over there had hand embroidery on it. Our bags today have got um, little French knots on them as well, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, Some yeah. Of them I've got actually, French so knots one on of them I've stitched onto. One of them I've just drawn. One of the bags I haven't done anything on because you don't have to do it if you don't want to. If you want to just leave well, it as no is. Well, that's no on that then. Yeah, so you, you don't have to. So that'll just be a sandbag to. then, will just it? Just be a sandbag. Sandbag. So, yeah. Well, of course, you've got the buttons and you can tangle on the buttons. So, oh, okay, yeah. so you can tangle on anything, anything you want. Anything, yeah. I think if you look at the blue one, I've actually put a little bit of faux stitching around with a little gel oh, pen yeah, and coloured them in. So you don't have to leave them as the wooden. You can actually do, you know. Okay, so this here is just created with that pen with inside. With that thing. pen, yes, absolutely. Uh, is it... Um, Fixed is it? It, what's it the is fixed. For? It's what we call an archival pen. So it's the same pen we use on paper craft. Right. And we know it's going to stay in place. Right. So then, if you want to add extras, you can use fabric pens, which we've I've got. Oh yeah. Now I'll you put can... yours over there yeah, only because yours you. are nicer than ours. Oh, is that right? So and we haven't got yours, so I've, oh, put the, I've hidden yours. I brought them from here, ages ago. Not for me, you never. I'm sure. Sure, I did. Different sure colourway than we do now. Anyway, but it doesn't, 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 doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You don't need. Yeah. To. So basically, to make one of these, yes. I need nothing else whatsoever. No, a, bit, part... a bit of thread. Oh um, yeah, obviously. And, and, and some interfacing. Bit of oh, okay. Interfacing. So interface. Has it got interfacing? Yeah, I've interfaced the sides and the handle and the bottom of the bag. Okay, we've got interfacing so coming up in the in the tools hour later. So that's right. Should we should we start one then? Let's do it. I've got one prepped here. I've actually. The orange and pink's to die for. It's, it's, lovely. it's the most favourite. It's it's most favourite. I mean, now, but the red's nice. To, I mean, you're quite, you're nice. quite happy to answer any questions, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, please. So any ask questions, away, send them in. Any way, yeah, send them away. in and we'll ask them to Miss okay. Tangle. All right. So uh, the bag pattern, completely unique. I, I created it. So right. you're not, you're not going to get anywhere else. And it comes, obviously, as a, a large sheet here. I've Lovely. given you, there you go, I've given you a little you bit of a layout and a little bit of a, a couple of points there. If you've never done it before, this is a really nice one to do. Uh, it's all sort of laid out like a lay plan, as that's what you, I used to do lay planning. Oh, did you? Yeah. Right, so that's where you yeah, lay it out on the fabric so kind of thing. The kind of thing. So we, we've made everything as simple, as easy as you can sort of possibly do it there. So everything's cut out. So there. basically, yeah, you just fold oh, you'll have some fabric yeah, left over. Yeah, fold that in half because you need two of everything. There you are, and it fits on there lovely. Oh, perfect, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like we planned it. Yeah. Absolutely. Brilliant. So, of course, if you want to, it's all about choice. You can have whichever colour fabric you want at the front or at the back or inside, outside. So you can mix and match it. Or if you want to, say, have the pink on the inside, but you want some features of the pink on the outside. I'm just going to move you across You can move me across, yeah. You stand, if you stand Shall here. I stand there? Is that right? Oh, that's nice and done. I know. There you go. For this time Sorry. of morning. Eh? It's lovely. It's, <laughs> lovely. it's a very. Oh. oh, it's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, sorry, I just anyway, have to move you into shop. That was it's just all fabric, that. isn't it? With little fabrics. Yeah. So, okay. So, I've actually started some bits and pieces already, and I think the most important thing is to sort of show you how to do a bit of tangling. Right. Oh, yes. So, sir. I'm actually going to use this for the outside of my bag rather than the orange. Okay. Just for this one. Controversial. Because I can. This yeah, exactly. You've got to take down to fabric with each fabric, haven't you? Yeah. So, bringing it on, we've got. Um, Ostensibly, but I've given you a round sort of a mandala, but I've also given you something that you can sort of trace across the whole, the bottom of the bag if you want, okay. or the side. So again, it's all about choice and whatever you want to do with it. So coming on in straight with a pen, this yeah. is a bit scary, I know. If you're not so sure about this, don't worry about but it. But you could practice on a piece of paper beforehand, you could, couldn't you? Yeah, or you could draw it in pencil chalk or something yeah, that yeah, you yeah. can sort of iron out afterwards. But um, the, the best thing is to just go for it. So you can use sections of this, you can use the whole thing if you want to, it's entirely up to you. And uh, I, I purposefully didn't draw on it to start with because I think it's really nice that you see it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, one of the main mantras of this is there are no mistakes. Right. So if you've done something, you think, oh, I shouldn't have done that, it doesn't work, build it into what you're doing, bring right, okay. it into that design. So. You see already I've made this bag unique because I've put this stencil on and it's going to be completely different to if you've got your friend And you put it on it. an angle as well, you, you haven't had to centre it or anything no, like that. No, not at all. You, I mean you can put it on the, just on the pocket if you want to. How much, how much seam allowance is on your pattern? A centimetre. So you have to make sure it's more, just more than a centimetre yeah. in from the edge. But Don't you know, go, oh it doesn't e matter I suppose. Even does that, it? actually having it so it goes into the yeah, seam course, so you yeah. get part of it. As I said it, I was thinking, yeah, yeah, you're yeah, saying that you wrong. You can go as arty as you like. Yeah. So, again, I think we, we used this, or I chose this fabric because it does look a little bit tangly. It's got these sort of curls yes, in with yeah. it. 
uh, and uh, the other fabric looks a little bit like uh, if you're into paper craft or anything or, or dyeing, it's like a linked kind of effect yeah. so it, it just works really well oh and if you buy these ones today they come from us by the way yes. if you if you bought from Santangle on Hobby Maker obviously they come direct from you don't they, they there? Do, but these yes. come direct we've got brought these in so we've got them here they come from us that's it so there you go so it, it doesn't have to take a long time you can see that I've got my shape drawn on there and this is where the beauty of it starts in now is because we can doodle so if we take some of these little shapes to start, to start with, we've got this little curl here on the fabric. Let's right. bring that in. Let's bring a curl in on the fabric. Okay. okay. Every, everybody can do that kind of curl. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. we've got these sort of little marks on there. So let's bring some of those in. Let's do some on this side as well. And we could fill some in. We could add a bit of colour later. So let's do another one going this way. So you can do whatever you want within, within you the shapes or when coming do, out of the yeah, shapes or anything. Absolutely. And if you think, what is tangling? I'm not so sure, then you can have a look on YouTube. I've got lots of videos on there if you look for sand tangling. we just look at sand tangling. Yeah, and it'll show you how to draw them and it'll show you how to put them together. But this is just about having a little bit of fun and, and creating something a little bit unique. And there, you see, I'm going straight onto the fabric. It's not, it's not bleeding. Yes, it's yes, not yes, yeah. Anything else. We actually gave you, it's quite a thick pen. We use a, an O3, okay. very fine pen uh, uh -huh. to actually work on paper. And you're not going to smudge it with your hand, are you? Because you're left, uh, you're left, you know what I mean? Like if you're, yeah, you're drawing no, here, you yeah, don't smudge no, it. No, it's not. It's, it's instantly on there. Yeah. It's, uh, oh, let's move that bit. We don't want that bit. There we go. So I'm just sort of working it round. You know, just keep moving it so yeah. it's comfortable for you. you don't try and, and draw it, you know, and <laughs> give yourself a... Yeah, just get freedom of movement yeah. and everything, yeah. So, there we go. You see how it's starting to it's starting to grow? You could sort of take it across the whole of the fabric if you wanted uh -huh. to, or just a little bit of it. If people have got other stencils of yours, you yep. could incorporate other stencils with exactly. it, I suppose, couldn't you? Exactly, that's it, yeah. So, whatever you want to do with it. I mean, this a stencil sort of almost, almost like a starting point. It gives you a shape to go with, but yeah, if you want to do like the, the feather that you saw earlier or the bee, you could put anything like that on there as well. You see, it just sort of starts to work uh -huh. together. And it's not so, it's not so uh, time consuming, although it's very, it, I find it very therapeutic. But also what you could do is, because uh, lots of our, la our ladies and gentlemen do embroidery and things like that, is you could, that could be your stencil. Yes. Uh, not you said, but you could you could draw the lines and then embroider over all you of could, them. You could exactly, which is what I've done with the little French knots. I've yes, taken, yeah. I mean, I've not actually put the little dots here, look, onto here. Oh yeah, oh I but see. But I did mark them on the yeah. the orange one, and I've used little French knots. All I've the just way seen there's a there's a pattern within a pattern there. As there well, is. Because yes. I can see a daisy. I can see a daisy in the within middle of there. there as well, so though, if yeah. you bring this in. So let's just put a couple of little loops on the inside there. And those stencils, they're going to last, aren't they? They're not cardboard or anything, No, no, they, they are um, what we call mylar. So they're 300, oh, yeah, yeah, 350 yeah, yeah. micron mylar. So, yeah, it's it's pretty sturdy. You can actually put it into, you know, the sink and give it a bit of wash with warm soapy water. Oh, okay. And we can use these pens if you want as well, if you need to make marks to actually draw on it. But then it'll rub off. Okay. So it'll clean off afterwards. You always got dirty hands then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's it's dry, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, so it's matter. my dirty fabric. But uh, yeah, so let's just put some curves in. We'll just do this, and then we'll have a have a go at uh, making it up, shall That's we? Yeah. I mean, I would do all of this first before it's made up. But I yeah, suppose if you've made, it's made it up, up and you think, oh, it's a little bit there, you could then you do could, a few squiggles on the finished bag could. as well. Couldn't of course you? you could. It's just I think a little bit easier to do it flat yeah now if you got anything on the back of that fabric or is it just the one layer it's just the layer of fabric yeah yeah i mean if you're doing it on your very best kitchen table put something underneath like, it like your cutting mat but I'm, I'm not pressing on hard if you actually push push this in and then hold it on it will go through oh, okay i'm just doing a very light stroke yeah. on there so yeah put something underneath just to make yeah, sure but most that, crafters but, yeah. work on their cutting Cut board or their and mat things or like that anyway yeah. so yeah so on this you can do it on the front on the back on the pocket on the wherever you want to do this and Got it's just about having a bit of fun question for you Please ask do away. you get the pen in the kit yes leanne yes. you do get the pen in yes, the kit you do you get everything you need you get the pen the buttons the stencil the little label and the templates and the fabric so you don't need apart from a thread and some interfacing it's some interfacing you absolutely. could start doing it in the minute it arrives the minute yeah, it arrives of course 
Now, what I've got, I've, I've actually pre, pre made some of the bits and okay, pieces, brilliant. of course. You're never going to make it all no. in the amount of time. So, what we've got here, we've got uh, this could be the front or the back, it doesn't matter. I've got a pocket. Now, pocket wise, what I've done here, I've got two of them and I've sandwiched my label in between the two. So, <laughs> <laughs> the label's very important. But it, it is important, isn't it? I think it just sort of makes it stand out from well, the Well, it rest. makes it look like a designer bag, doesn't it? You know well, what I mean? And it, and it is because... Well, no, oh, no, I don't yeah, mean that. No. Look, main, yeah, no, it. no, because you've, <laughs> because you've designed it. So, of course, so what you're going to do, you're going to fold your label in half and it's going to go on the right-hand side of the fabric you're going to have on the front. Right. So, you can measure it. I'm not going to measure it. Measuring and me don't particularly go. Honestly, um, I'm always doing by eye. Oh, okay. And uh, and certainly with things like pinning and tacking, don't do that. She says, um, put the pin in. No, apart from this one, no. But no, I uh, I learned to sew real on a factory floor. Oh, did you? So yeah, so we, no we don't we don't pin and tack. So you, you know you're going to put that in there, and then you're going to put this one over the top. And you're going to leave a little gap here, and you're going to stitch all the way around. Right. And then through that little gap, you're going to turn it back round. Yeah press it all on the sides and that's what you're going to end up with perfect okay. all right it's yeah. like i've done it before so i'm going to move to the sewing machine now so you can just see what i'm going to do with the pocket and first of all so right. you, this is you after you've turned it through and this pressed is after it, i've yeah. turned it through i've pressed it what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put a row of top stitching just across about a centimeter and a half in now i say about i'm using the guides on my machine and I tend to use that, hence a centimetre seam allowance because it's the same sort of uh -huh. width as my foot. So I'm going to put, oh, there we go, if I oh, can't work out. You all right? It's so, yeah, it's, it's so similar to my machine, but it's not. Hang on a second, doesn't want to move. What have we got going on? It's because you press it, that's your needle up, needle that's down. My needle, yeah. That's my press. Uh, so if you just go forward, do you want to go backwards or forwards? No, I want to go forward. So mine actually, oh. Hang on, is it not moving anywhere? No, it's not moving Let anywhere. Let me just have a quick look. Bang. Oh, do you know, there's always something. No, 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 no. And also, you've been on What's It for um, two hours already, haven't yeah, you, earlier? Yeah, yeah. It's like, I'm sure, I haven't got the foot's not. Let's plug that foot in and see if that helps. Oh, were you using the button, yeah? I was. That's it. That right, you have a go now, it. see if it can go forward now. Oh, do you know, there's always something. No, no it's not moving, is it? it Hang on. Want to move. Let's just. Let's which just. Which stitch should we. Let, oh, I, I'll tell you what we should do. Turn it off and on. Yeah. <laughs> With, like, with all computers yeah, yeah. and yeah. things. Yeah, don't kick it, but just turn it on. <laughs> right, now, other Right, girls. let's try it now. Don't okay, touch it. Not, not oh. going to touch anything. So I'm just going to move it along a bit, because yeah. it's slightly different there. Yeah. Got to make sure, wow, 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 lovely Z Sandra on oh, my favourite channel, saying and tangling, have a fab day, Jill in Manchester. Is it going now? It still doesn't want to go. Oh, feed, the feed dogs, feed the feed, the feed dogs. dogs down. They're down, yeah, let's put them up. Where, where, oh, it's... Oh, gee. Right, you know. now let's have a go. Don't worry. No, that's not a problem. It's not a problem. Who had this machine last then? I know, yes. We need a Explain word with them. them. Are you all right? Another yeah, message. Yeah. Let's try uh, again. Good morning, both. Welcome, Sandra. Lovely bags. Hi. Which pen are you enjoy with? Sandy, it's the pen that comes in the kit. It's the pen that comes in the kit. It's the Santangle. Is it moving now? Yeah, yeah, we've got it going now. Santangle Archival Ink. Qualité de carvage or tinta de archivo. It comes in the kit though, comes in the kit. There we go. Is you all right? It's working Yeah, we've got Brilliant. it. It's all Brilliant. good. It's all good. Back. So what you do is just done one line of stitching across. I've just oh, done okay. one line of top stitching yeah. just across the top. Now I've got to decide, do I want my... Do I want my pocket over the top of some of the work I've done, which I quite like going oh. around, or... Or do I want it sort of on the back? I'm going to leave it here. Yeah, now, okay. of course, I have got marks on the pattern here. So if you wanted to, there we go. If you want to sort of mark it on, Perfect. you could do that. But again, if it's you want back. to sort of... Oh, no, no, because you want the pocket to be there. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you want the pocket to be there. Sort, really, of, sort of in the middle, yeah. yeah. And literally, I'm just going to put one pin in there just okay. to hold it in place. Lovely. All right, less pins, the better. And then back to the machine. Let's get this sewed in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put sort of a little uh, little triangular shape at the top just to give it a little bit more structure. Yeah. Um, I'm sure if we, we've made bags before, we, we've done that. If not, not to worry about it. It's just creating that little triangle on the top. Let's do another one. And then straight round. And then we're going to sew straight down. And again, follow the, the sort of foot as a guide. So don't think... Oh. 
think it needs a new uh, needle uh, that machine. It's just gone over a couple of seam plus yeah. the label there, so it's not a problem. I've got a, sort of a little angle at the bottom just to sort of give it a bit of detail. Okay. If you think, oh, it's a little bit scary, I don't want to do that, then just cut your pocket square. Oh, okay. It's, it's, it's really not a problem. It's just a nice little feature. I so say, if you've never done it before, it's not a problem at all. Okay, nearly there. Again, turn the angle, just give it a little bit of a, a shape there. Oh, so, do you do all crafts then? You do tangling, obviously, but yeah. obviously you do sewing as well. Do you do metalwork and woodwork? Metalwork, woodwork, yeah. I actually trained as a resistant materials Apart specialist. Of. So, that's wood, metal, plastics. Oh, okay. But uh, graphics or, or art has always been an interest. Uh -huh. So, it, it's almost like I turned my, uh, my hobby. Yeah, and you turned your hobby into it. Into my, my but job, sometimes, yeah. I'm, well, no, a lot of time, that's brilliant because you're not doing it because you, oh, I've got to go to work today. You're doing it because you love it, aren't Absolutely, you? Absolutely, yeah. It's a hobby. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't feel like this is work at all. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, it's busy, which is lovely. Where are you based then? Uh, we're in Scunthorpe. Oh, okay. We've got an offices up there where we make everything ourselves. What, what all these? Uh, all, so all, all the all this? stencils, all the bag instructions, everything we've actually done so ourselves. So you've got a little workforce up there? Work, yeah, there's four of us. Oh. Me and my husband, two, two friends there. So absolutely, it's uh, it's a really nice little place to work. So we also do classes. Oh, do you? So we have a classroom upstairs that we can get 20, 28 people in. So if people are interested in coming to Scunthorpe... Yes. Um, do they just look up Santangle just website? Just look up Santangle, go on to the Facebook group, Santangle is on there as well, so absolutely. Oh, well, I might join that later. It's all on there, yeah, and you can see all the different things that we actually do. Yeah. So you see, I've got my, my pocket on there now, and what Brilliant. I want to do, I'm just going to put it to one side because I'm going to bring the back in. Now the back, what I've actually done here, you can see I've got these sort of little notches yeah. all around. This is because I want to sort of use my little flaps. These are going to hold my, uh, my sort of sides together. Now if I want to, I can have it so... When it's finished, it's going to look like this. So yeah. I've actually got both sides. Or I could turn it over and I could have it so the orange. Oh, yeah. So it, it looks quite. I'm going to do that. Lovely. So I'm going to um, put that face down. Maria, uh, the fabric comes in the kit. The pink and the orange fabric comes in the kit. It looks like um, melange, and I'm not quite, quite sure what that one's called, but they, they come all in the kit. Comes in the kit. Uh, Sue's lovely in the stenciling, so clever. Oh yeah, feed dogs are down, feed dogs are down. Oh, I wonder how you knew, Charlie. <laughs> yeah. Of course, oh, yeah. Do you know, there's always something, yeah. not to worry. So I'm just putting a single pin in there just to hold that uh, little tab in place there. I'm just right. going to do the seams and I'm going to then stitch it to the front in exactly okay. the same way. So have you got interfacing on those or uh, not? I have got interfacing on the lining ones, but not, but the not on one. the bag ones. Okay, it's perfect. just, I think, a great thing, certainly if you've not done it before, if you're going to try and iron interfacing on and you don't quite get it as, as neat as you want, you get bubbles in yes. it. So even if you've got if you've got bubbles in the, the lining, you're not going to see it, but you are on the front. Yeah. So, yeah. Good right. thing to point out here as well, I'm going to sew from the top down because I want to leave about a centimetre just there at the bottom. So I'm going to just leave that open. So I'm going to stop there. There to there. Okay. Okay, lovely. While you're doing that, we've got a couple of pictures that people have sent in. Oh, wow. Here are my pics of Santangle oh, Bag. No. I just finished. Great pattern, easy to follow, well thought out. I did my tangles in free motion embroidery. There we go. Jane, were you fabulous. using this machine? Is that why the feed dogs were down? <laughs> I'm blaming Jane from Cumbria for that then. They're Absolutely. gorgeous. Beautiful. And then, Hi, John, Sandra and crew. Just wanted to share the bag I made following the sand tangle pattern. Look Love and light. That. Oh, that's Chris, the boy man in Manchester. It's Chris. I don't know why I keep saying the boy in Manchester. Chris <laughs> in Manchester, I think that must be. Oh, we know Chris. Look at that. That's incredible. It's fabulous, isn't it? You think that's been, you know, freehand drawn just so is that, that stencil. stencil? That's that stencil. But everybody does it slightly differently. So it's all about, you know, you're having that little bit of difference in yeah. there. Yeah. It's lovely, isn't it? So, what's the hand set again? Yeah, of course I'll recap it. Right, so, it's a brand new kit for us today. Which one would you like to do first? Orange and pink, it's way in the lead, the one that we're demoing. Right, so in the kit, you get half a metre of the pink and you get half a metre of the orange. Right, you also get the instructions. You also get the pattern. You also get all the buttons. You get the Santangle label, you get the stencil and you get the pen. Everything. You don't need anything else apart from a little bit of interfacing. If you're going to interface the um, some of the lining and uh, sewing machine and thread. 
Oh, Kate, lovely to see Sandra. I love it when you show things that can be combined with our sewing. Bag Aww. looks fabulous from Kate Thank in you. Merseyside. So that's the orange and pink one that we're demoing there. Then I've got the red and silver mink one here. Oh, now these two are level pegging, the blue and the, and the red one. So you get half meter of the red, half meter of the silver mink. And again, instructions, oh, upside down, instructions, uh, pattern, stencil, pen, label, and buttons. 39.99. That's the red and silver mink one. And then we also have the blue and blue one, which is level pegging with the red and silver fox. So you get your two blue fabrics there. And again, you get your instructions, your pattern, your stencil, your buttons, your label, and your pen. Don't need anything else. Actually, look, it looks fantastic on the blue. Lots of you got the blue one in your basket. So that one, and when you all start checking out, that one will overtake the red. Looks on that side as well. Oh, now look, that one's clever, because you put the pocket on first, then sand tangled yes. it. I've actually, I've actually done it around the button, so you, yeah, you've got like Yeah, look around the button there. Yeah. I'm just going to undo this so you can have a look at it. There you go. Look. So the button is the centre. Right, now pull out from that. So the pattern is based from the button. Now, I'm interested how you do those little French knots, not French knots, but what are those called there? That you see inside, inside the shape, you've then got it, it looks like it folds. Come on in, Becky. Oh, the shading. The shading in that one there. You want me to show there. the shading? Yes. Is that what you call it yeah, when you do different cool. lines like that? Yeah, absolutely. Tangling and shading. Yeah. So you see, I've got my, uh, I've got my fronts. Look, look at that orange and pink together. Lovely. It's just, look at that. I mean, of course, I'd press all the seams, but uh, yeah. yeah, and there we go. In real so life. that's this is the front. Now, in terms of, uh, let's have a look. We've got a couple of ways we can do it. I'm just going to bring a couple of pens in. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. If you've got the fabric pens at home, uh, you know the fabric textile pens, you can use those yeah. as well. So there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can actually use the uh, the regular pen that right. we've got Right, which is here. the one in the kit. This is the one that comes in the kit. Yeah, just move towards me. Ah, brilliant. Have you got uh, an earpiece in? Yeah. Oh, I want to take it <laughs> just in, Charlie. Sort of keeps, it keeps moving <laughs> now, so yeah. We can actually sort of, we start at a point we flick in. Right. And you can see that you're sort of getting a darker point and the where the point started. Yeah as you work your way out there we go same sort of there and then if you actually bring in say um we've got let's have a look let's put a little loop in here so we've like we've got a little curve either side and then if i put some flicks in this side and some flicks in that side you can see it's starting to get a okay bit i want to know about i want to know about this one here that one there all oh, right like okay let's draw that one, one. Has it got a name? So, um, yeah, what we're going to do, I'm going to put a bubble in. Right. And then we're going to join from here to here. Now, I've got this one, it's a, a three, you've got a four shape there, but let's put it into this one. Okay, so we've yeah. got that kind of shape. And then we can actually add lines in like I've done there. Oh, I see. Like so. It's actually quite simple, it looks complicated. That's yeah. quite simple, isn't it? And then uh, that one goes that way. And then if I bring in my colours, I'm just going to add a little bit of colour to this side, a little bit to this side. You see I'm flicking out again from yeah. that, in, that side there and a little bit on that side. And you see where we've got then, that little oh. bit of shade. If I do this one to match, so you see that one's going that way, so I'm going to go around the bubble to there and down. And up and then follow. Do you, have you got books? Those lines. I have instruction books. That's what we've just been doing on. <laughs> oh, was yeah. it next door? No, no, no. Because yeah. because I know, and I I mean, I went to art school and everything, but I know sometimes if I'm given the shape, I'm going to fill it in and my brain just blocks. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I just, I need a book to sometimes just go, oh, I see yes. now. And just say, yeah. Okay. So on, over on Hobby Maker, you were doing books this morning, were you? Yeah, yeah. So don't go now, but later on, go and have a look no, at what they have on No, stay with me, stay with me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So yeah, you can see that we've got these lovely sort of colours coming in. I can add over the top of that. It's going to move that a little bit there, just to sort of bring in. Third, the socks gone on the orange. A and little pink. bit of shade. See how that's starting to really come to yeah. come together now. So that's where it starts to grow. Gorgeous. And of course, if I uh, I'm going to colour afterwards, I'm going to put something inside. Yeah. But I want to show you how to put the base on because I think as as a beginner this is probably the most difficult thing is to do because we, we're not creating like a just a square tote we're creating yeah. something that's got dimension to it so we've got like a, a flat shape there and a flat shape here and we're going to try and make it three-dimensional okay have you put 
interfacing on that I one? have put interfacing yeah. on this one because of course with it being the base you want it a little bit stronger so I've got interfacing on that one okay. and on the inner lining okay, as well brilliant. so remember that we said we were leaving a little gap at the bottom about a centimeter mm -hmm. so that's what I'm actually going to use to put this on with so I'm going to do it so I can see that centimeter so it's this way around there it is look move this side out of the way you see I've got that one there I'm going to put that on top of that one there okay and right. then if I work all the way along I'm still working on a flat space okay so I'm just going to stitch that but if you if you've sewn your seams right down to the bottom it's almost impossible to do it's that it's really it? tricky it's to tricky do then, yeah it? because yeah. I'm going to put my needle straight down and where my sewing line stopped right from doing my verticals so here we go I'm just going to put a little bit of that in and again I've, I've not I don't tend to pin if you want to pin and tack it please feel free to do so it's yeah. absolutely fine but uh, it's so what were you doing working in a, in a factory then what were you making well uh, 16 yeah. um, I went and I was doing national cardboard jackets oh, pfft, really glamorous. heavy yeah. heavy stuff and I moved from there and I, I was then doing um, clothing like sh uh, trousers so I used to do the darts and trousers oh, wow. for yeah because it's a production line company. isn't it where each yeah. person don't, you don't sit and make a whole pair of trousers no, you only so do I, yeah. one little bit of it I did, I've you? done pockets I did the uh, so yeah, um, I put the odd zip in, so I never pin a zip. Yeah, oh, blind me. And then from there, I've I've gone and moved into the offices for a while, and I was doing pattern grading, and digitising patterns in, oh, and lay wow, planning. Yes. I've been in the cutting room, cutting so all sorts. So we did. Is this the, all up in Scunley? That was actually I was in Stoke on Trent. That oh, was it? Yeah, when I was a little bit younger. Oh well, so. no, because I worked at the at the theatre in Stoke on Trent. I oh, mean, yeah. ye, ye, I'm going back yeah, before yeah, you were absolutely. born, sort of thing. But it was kind of like. That was my first, a friend of mine ran the theatre. So yeah, I it's, amazing, it's a nice yeah. place to yeah. be. There's a lot going on yeah. there, but uh, yeah. It's we, a we, an outside we... toilet in my house. Did you really? The oh, toilet was down yeah, the end of yeah. the garden. My mum still lives in Stoke-on-Trent. So. Oh, does she? She does. She yeah. hasn't got a toilet at the end of the garden, no, no, she? she? No, she hasn't. <laughs> okay, so I've yeah. stitched that one down. You see, I've actually, look, I've got a centimetre at the end there now yeah. as well. I've moved this bit out of the way, and again, I've not got a, a nice flat bit, so I can lay, layer that up, you see, all Brilliant. the way along. I'm going to do it that way though so I can see the points yeah. actually. Now with this one, because we've got to turn this bag inside out actually, I think I did it on this one. If I bring the lining in, you see I've left a gap there. Right. I'm not going to do this on the front bit. I don't need to, I only need that gap in the yeah, middle. Yeah, so you need to leave the gap on the lining. Okay. So let's just put that in place. Once, you, once you've got the hang of this, it's actually really straightforward. It's just, I think, nice to see it being done. Because... Uh, it, it gives you a little bit a better idea then doesn't it Jan wants to know where your um where your blouse is from oh it's a uh, yeah am I allowed yeah, to yeah, say yeah. is that all right it's yeah. next next from next mm. there you go yeah from next Jan Jan's yeah. birthday today happy birthday Jan uh, happy morning birthday. John and Sandra love the stenciling says Lorraine Julie says morning all morning okay so if I bring this back you see I've got the two now so I'm still working sort of flat I've just got to join these bits together so if I actually open it out now it's gonna there we go open it flat it's gonna sort of sit flat so I can stitch Just from stitch here it's so easy here. so don't try going yeah. round it do don't the two go round sides. it do the two longer sides and then yeah. come in and do the smaller ones so let's I'm just gonna do both sides so yeah. you can sort of see where it it heads then and again I'm working from the, the stitch line that I did there before so it's it's creating sort of a rectangle on the bottom there same on this one it's just sort of working it out and keeping it flat don't worry about the rest of it at all yeah. uh, just worry about what's under the sewing machine yeah, <laughs> yeah. 